Do you find this world too ordinary? Your future looking dim? Reality on cruise control? Well... Fear not! Life can still be dramatic! She's used to standing over others, bossing them around. That's true. You do have a point, you know. <laughs> that is the only legitimate way someone like a first year could become a student council president. And with 98% of the votes, she came in first by a landslide. So, what's the plan, Hideyoshi? You'll be joining student council, right? Hell no. I'm done letting that bossy you know it all tell me what to do. I am never joining the student council, and that's that! Really? You needn't be so cold, Senkichi. Hello? You wanna tell me what happened to Hideyoshi? Hey, Hyuga-kun! Hideyoshi was just taken away by the scary student council president. Are you telling me there's something between him and the new student council president? Yeah. People consider them childhood friends. Oh. If you ask me, they just haven't figured out how to get rid of each other. That's all. Ouch. Man, couldn't you use a normal method to get me here, Met? I mean, Miss President? Hmm. I'll have you know it's your own fault for turning down my invitation. Anyway, you don't have to be so formal, you know. Just call me Madaka-chan, like you used to, right? <laughs> Sure. I realize that it won't be easy, but that doesn't mean you can make me help. You always do that. When something goes wrong, you take me down with you. You never stop to consider how much trouble you make for me. Honestly, I've had enough. Besides, why do you need me? You can probably run the student council on your own. Whoa! Wait! Hey! Don't just strip while I'm standing here! Put your clothes on! Oh! Hmm? Why should I be embarrassed around you? I'm not ashamed to be almost naked, but it's hardly what I'd expect to hear from someone who bathed with me until the sixth grade. That's in the past. But none of this is really the point of our visit. I didn't bring you here because I needed help. Huh? What? I've yet to encounter a job that's too challenging for me. I confess my real motive is simply missing the sublime pleasure of your company. I want you by my side for the school year. For now, let's have a look at the suggestion box. The suggestion box? 
Right. I remember that stupid thing. One of your many campaign pledges that you followed through on. So annoying. Students should have ownership, ownership of their, their dreams. dreams. It's, it's up, up to, to you to overcome adversity and to achieve. However, I will claim ownership of your troubles. So send them all to me. There's already a submission. I never thought anyone would take your speech seriously. Some third-year delinquents have taken up residence in the Kendo Dojo. Please chase them out immediately. There you go. The Kendo Dojo? Sandbox Academy is known for its enormous campus and its abundant athletic facilities. The Kendo Dojo is especially notable for its extensive history. Or it was until a few years ago. But things changed, and kids stopped joining the kendo club. The place is abandoned now. Or maybe not. Well, who are you? What do you want? From class 113 and the student council president, Kurakami Madaka. The student council is responding to a submission to the suggestion box. Oh, I heard about that. <laughs> You're that new psycho president. I must say... I'm surprised to see you here. Look, chick, you may have won 98% of the vote, but us guys, we comprise the other 2% that you lost. You must be the leader, Moji, the third year. Kendo, huh? It's been a while. I did a little Kendo when I was young. Huh? Huh? You take good care of your sword, I'm impressed. Hey, My the? goodness, is this actually ebony? When did she take it from me? I never even felt it, let alone sensed it. Unarmed disarm. That's a master level technique. Not what you'd expect from someone who just did a little kendo. Don't! Don't just stand there! Surround her, boys! Uniform modifications, hair dye, and accessories. It's like a parade of school violations. Well, I'm not exactly following the rules myself. You definitely shouldn't smoke. Cigarettes have a nasty little habit of stunting your growth. Who does this and you're chick denying yourself a reason to look forward to becoming off. an adult. Is she a ninja? That was Kendo, not ninjutsu. In reality, all she did was change up her footwork. But with her speed, she'll have amateurs thinking that she replicated herself. In any case, you've really trashed this place. It's hard to even believe this is school property. You've nearly managed to impress me. What? What, now you're going to lecture us? You are welcome here, Prez! Don't get too full of yourself. Ah, oh, my goodness, you are all pathetic. <laughs> I'm sure that you were once earnest kendo practitioners. You must have been through a traumatic experience which caused you to go astray. No, we're just dudes. We're just a bunch of thugs who like wooden swords. And hanging out together a lot. And here comes Kurakami Madaka's forte. The pretentious appeal to innate goodness. Were you abandoned by your parents? Were you not blessed with a good teacher? Did your friends betray you? Fear not. I shall rehabilitate you. Once I'm done, you will be devoted to your sword. I shall correct what is wrong, teach you what is right. I shall help you improve, help you change. You will never slack off again. You will never laugh or cry again. Commence with 1,000 swings, boys! You won't be able to walk home tonight. You know, I've been wondering, are you slow in the head? Why do you let the princess drag you around? It's not like you're on student council. Be quiet. She might have always had a few screws loose up there. She doesn't realize how truly and brightly she shines. She always demands that everyone rise to her level of commitment. She'll never know how it feels when hard work doesn't pay off. Or how being depressed feels. Well, this time it happened to work out. 
You can be sure none of those kendo bombs will be going near that kendo dojo again. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure of that. Huh? Hideyoshi, you've known her forever, and you still don't understand her. Uh -uh. We defeated the bad guys. End of the story. Close the book. If she were that uncomplicated, you wouldn't have such a hard time. Things would be easier. Don't joke around. I need this to end. Uh. Well, it shouldn't matter. You'll be free and rid of her soon enough. Huh? You didn't know? After school, they will be recruiting student council officers. Once the student council has more people, you'll be out of a job. Isn't that great? Damn it, Shiranwe. I've been with her since I was two years old. No one knows her. Not like I do. What? 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 You're late, Zenkichi. Practice should have already begun. What happened to manners? But the Kendo members are late as well. I don't get it. These days, it seems no one wants to be punctual. Late? What do you mean, late? Nobody's coming. Hmm? Did you really think they'd open up to you if you did a little house cleaning? Those guys are total strangers. Why do you even want them to come? A foolish statement. I was born to help total strangers. Grades, records, and rankings are meaningless. I only feel at peace when I'm helping another. <sighs> I envy you. If I were as talented as you, I might feel the same way. But I'm not, so I don't. Talent? That word means nothing. It means everything! People without talent have to struggle just to get by. Listen to me. If you don't stop, you'll end up hurt one day. And that's the last thing I want. Do you not get it? They didn't support you. They don't believe in you. They're the 2%. Can't you see that? Don't huh? say 2%! There are eight of them! You shouldn't use percentages or ratios when referring to human beings. Moji, the third year. Usa, the third year. Tosu, the third year. Imari, the third year. Ubuski, the third year. Nakatsu, the third year. Yureshino, the third year. Yufuin, the third year. We are all proud Sandbox Academy students. Then just do whatever you want. It isn't like I'm on the student council any... Uh -oh. What? Why are you guys... What are you... Uh... Because we don't really have anywhere else to go. Or anything better to do. Look here, lady. We all may be worthless trash, but don't mistake us for a bunch of spineless cowards or a group of losers. Help! We won't retreat after that beatdown, lady! You're never gonna change us! You got that, lady? Very well. I'm accepting all requests and challenges. Then I'll have you start with 10,000 swings. She had a zero! What the hell? Now I look like the bad guy. Don't you understand how much I need you and want you by my side? Bull. When has she ever needed me? <sighs> Looking back, she's always stood above the rest of us. Her ability to excel in all fields, domineering personality, and an extremely open mind. All they did was make her the target of jealousy. But in the end, you can't help but to like her. It doesn't matter how hard she falls. She won't budge a step. She'll continue living the same way. And I don't want to admit it, but I'm the one who was wrong. After all... Damn it. The student council is worthless. And I swear, they get worse every year. I told you that. Why don't you listen to me? Why do you insist on watering the weeds? Stupid! Hey, princess! Weren't you in the Kindo Dojo? Well, look who's boring me now. Go away, I have to give a speech for the student council recruiting event. Though I'm not exactly thrilled about the idea. <laughs> But it sounds like Hideyoshi doesn't plan to join the student council, now does it? Oh, hold on just a minute. Are you actually concerned about me? Of course not! No one would be insolent enough to worry about the pillar of perfection that is known as Kurakami Madaka! As I thought. Which reminds 
me too by any chance to know who could have submitted that request? Hmm? I can't imagine any students being concerned by the fact that a bunch of delinquents were sitting around in the abandoned Kendo Dojo. I don't know, and I don't care. Then, let's say hypothetically that my classmate, Yuka Kun, a national level Kendo practitioner with some personality issues, who got into a bunch of fights in middle school, submitted that request. I don't care. Come on. I was trying to be a good boy in high school. You... tell me... who the hell are you? Who am I? I'm just a serious little first-year student. A serious guy who seriously wanted to do some serious kendo. You don't have anywhere to go, so hear me out. I hate teamwork and following orders. I'm more of a go-your-own-way type. That's why I always got into nasty little fights with my elders and my coaches. So I came to this school because I figured I'd have the place to myself. But it didn't quite work out there. Hey, what's your deal? Why did you decide to do it? Be the student council president? No offense, but you don't really look the type. I don't need a reason to stand above other people. It allows me to see farther out. That's all I need. Here. I can see you giving your all. That's enough! Ugh! Don't get too high on yourself, tough guy! Because I just remembered something. I used to be one hell of a kendo kid! Yeah, man, so did I. Yeah, me too. Me too! My goal was to become the best swordsman in Japan, I think. Lame. A bunch of dropouts can't change their colors that easily. It's not really in your pathetic nature. Do you know what a third dan rank in kendo is? It means I'm three times stronger than you! Fast reflexes, dude. Not. Hideyoshi, what are you doing? <laughs> I knew you would side with that freak girl even after I warned you. Not really. I'd have ignored those fools if they'd stayed down. Ah! Would you really? That's great, I don't care! I'm whacking the weeds that have invaded school property, ripping them out and shredding them. They're compost! I'm in the right! Yeah? Hyuga? Maybe you are right. But I'm sorry. That doesn't mean you are in the right! Everything she does is right. I've watched her since I was two years old. I'm the one who knows her best. It's crazy. It makes no sense. But I understand her righteousness better than anyone else. Believe me, I have no desire to help losers like you. But if you try to say that Madaka-chan is wrong, I'll make you pay. You'll regret you ever came to this dojo. No, this town. So get the hell out. You think I'd give a damn about your empty threat? You idiots are wasting my time. You are nothing to me. Don't you moronic dopes realize that a third god is... Like I care. Curse you, Hideyoshis and Kichi. You're pretty damn strong, I'll give you that. Damn it. Wait a minute. If I remember correctly, he spent every waking moment with that psychopathic freak of nature. He's no ordinary weed I can just rip up. However, this little skirmish is far, far from over. I'm going to rip him apart limb from Please. limb. You don't want to lose your temper, Hyuga, our classmates. <laughs> the, the, the student council president? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be recruiting you officers? Don't worry. I sent a delegate. Excuse me for asking, but who are you anyway? I'm POTUS, you jerk! It appears that my childhood friend gave you a stern scolding. Is that right? Honestly, Sinkichi is the only one who shows any concern for me. <laughs> it means the world to me. What is it? Is this retaliation for having used you? I don't understand. The student council is meant to be used. I promise to offer assistance 24 hours a day. But the reason I'm here has to do with the little something I retrieved from a certain box. My classmate, Hyuga Kun, has a nasty personality. So could you kill him? Why, you John we? Pathetic. I'm sure that once, you were an innocent, angelic boy, but you were starved for love. 
That deprivation was detrimental to your psyche and damaged you for years. This loneliness and heartbreak turned you into a solitary creature incapable of love. But fear not! I shall shower affection upon you so you never do ill again! <laughs> I don't know what happened after that, but they ended up using the Kendo Dojo together. Why can't you follow They're my instructions? They're a Kendo club in name only, and Hugo is serving as the instructor. Uh, it, it's not like I'm here because she told me to come. In other words, Hugo also fell under her spell. As usual, I'm not the only one. Huh? What is this flower? I plan to add a flower each time the student council resolves a request. So that's why there are two. I bet you'll have a garden before long. <laughs> I guess you do have a feminine side. What if you fail? I won't fail. If I do, I won't bother counting. My dream is to fill this entire area with flowers. What? Well, that, that is not ever going to happen for at least two reasons. One, you skip the recruiting event so there's no one even joining the student council. And two, nobody really cares. That doesn't matter to me. You were the only one I ever needed, the only one I ever wanted, the only one who was meant for me. Why are you so focused on keeping me around? I just happen to be a childhood friend. Otherwise, I'd be a stranger just like those guys. What an odd thing to say to a dear old friend. I've never thought of you as a stranger. You mean so much more to me. I know you better than anyone else, and you know me better than anyone else. It's like we're two peas in a pod. <gasps> You've been worried about me since you were two. That's gotta count for something, don't you think? All the others would just fade away. You were really the only one who stayed and still tries to protect me. You're the reason I can focus on helping other people. Hmm. Whatever works. All right, give me one of those things. The armband. Hmm? What do you mean? <sighs> I'm letting you boss me around once again! I mean, I'll just drive myself crazy if I keep out of it. So I'll help you. I'll help you turn this academy into a flower garden. So hand it over. Such a stubborn boy. You kept me waiting long enough, you big tease. But I guess I should just go ahead and thank you. <laughs> thank you, my dearest, most precious friend! Kur Kur Kurakami, Madaka Sporty number two! Sasandre! Well, if it wasn't a difficult decision to make, I already knew this would happen. After all, despite everything I've said, I love Madaka-chan with all my heart. Oh, but I have to start as a general clerk? Yep, you'll have to work your way up. It's been a week since I was coaxed into becoming a student council officer. Uh, uh, this looks completely wrong. Seriously, black uniforms aren't my thing. <sighs> That's why I specifically chose a school that had white uniforms! No, that isn't true in the slightest sense. I think black is your uh, color. Stop sneaking around and coming up behind me like that. It's creepy. If you dislike how it looks, you could wear your gym uniform beneath the jacket. I'm sure you'd look dashing. Fine, okay, I'll try it. What the hell? Look at me! I look smoking hot! This looks screams James Dean Rebel! I just checked the suggestion box. Uh, Starting tomorrow, that will be your job. Uh, uh, the suggestion box is the student council's top priority, so don't slack off. Ah, the newest submission apparently came with a name. Um, sorry. I probably shouldn't be asking underclassmen for help with this, but I didn't know who to turn to. No need to be shy. Ask away. I'm prepared to help any who are in need. Why doesn't she show proper respect toward an upperclassman? Why is he wearing his gym uniform under his jacket? So when I said that I need help, 
That's terrible. You see, what happened was they selected me to run a sprint at the upcoming meet. Second years don't usually get a chance, so I was really happy and honored to be asked to participate, you know? But three days ago, my spikes were ruined. Do you have any idea who might have done it? Not a clue. I leave my spikes in the locker room, so it could have been anyone. I mean, they're all suspects. Competition in Sandbox Academy sports is stiff. When a starter is chosen, they're typically shunned. So I was prepared for the worst. But I never expected this. Never anything like this. Yes, the hazing doesn't typically go this far. Have you been able to practice at all? I'm using my sneakers for now. don't have a choice. He can't know. I mean, I can't tell the coach. If he learns I'm having trouble, I could lose my starting position. And I can't practice with people capable of doing such a horrible thing. Everyone seems suspicious. I can't trust anyone. I'm so stressed, I can't even sleep at night. Fear not, Ariaki the second year. We shall put an end to those sleepless nights tonight. Kurokami Madaka will discover the culprit today and wrap this up post haste. Today? So, yeah. I guess sports can get pretty nasty among your competitors. Since her shoes were destroyed once she was chosen to start, it must have been a girl on the track team. But that doesn't exactly narrow it down. A girl on the track team with a fairly long career, who also happens to be an amazing sprinter, and who uses the same brand of spikes as does Ariaki the second year. The person is therefore left-handed, reads the Fukuruma newspaper, and lives in Block 23. That is our culprit. Uh huh? The culprit ruined these shoes with recently purchased scissors. And she was incredibly precise when tearing out the seams. It would seem that she has studied this before because she had to have known the exact weak points of an old pair of these spikes. And most important of all, she left the logo untouched when she destroyed these shoes. Hmm. This may sound strange, but the culprit probably has an attachment to this brand of shoes. One glance at the cut makes it clear. Look! Clearly, left-handed scissors were used. What am I looking at? And what does the Fugaruma newspaper have to do with- Shine a light at the letter. Examining the text on the back, you can determine that they were taken from random issues of this past week's mm. Fugaruma newspaper. The culprit didn't specifically buy a newspaper to make this letter. Oh no, sir, she did not. She must have used old newspapers lying around the house. And you say she lives in Block 23, right? Newspapers may change depending on when they were printed. The clippings used in the letter came from the 14th edition only delivered to Block 23. She's obviously a subscriber. Her powers of deduction are insane! I'm seriously freaked out! And she remembers every word?! Only a few people in the world should fit the profile I just described. Now let's track down the culprit. Denying a person's hard work. Interfering with someone's hard work to improve that I despise such behavior. I am angry, Zenkichi, and in response to my anger, the suggestion box requests the student council will act! Track team member Isahaya Senpai from class 3-9. She's a short distance runner like Ariaki Senpai. She's left-handed and uses the same spikes as you can see. She lives in block 23 and she subscribed to the Fugaruma newspaper for three years and counting. There you go! You know, I've been wondering about this. How did you find out this stuff anyway? <laughs> if you want to be a good guy, you're better off not knowing. I should mention that Isahaya Senpai lost her starting position when Ariaki Senpai was selected. It's sad, but that's life in the fast lane. Well, then that settles it. As a third year, it must be humiliating to be replaced by a second year. However, Zenkichi, <coughs> we have no hard proof in this case just yet. You shouldn't judge a person based on circumstantial evidence you could get sued or worse. I don't mind the whole innate goodness shtick. But we haven't found any hard proof that she did it. And we can't exactly just go up and ask her about it. Isahaye, the third year, tell me, are you the culprit? <laughs> I'm talking about these spikes. <laughs> I, I, I don't know anything. Huh? She ran away. Of course she's running away. Let's go after her. By 
the way, Hideyoshi. Huh? Why are you wearing your gym uniform under your jacket? This isn't the time! How, how did she find me so quickly? What? No way! You'll never catch me! I can run a hundred meters in twelve seconds flat! Oh, not bad. I can run a full marathon in two hours flat, so it would take me at least 17 seconds to run a hundred meters. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Is Kyokami Madaka the new student council president? I heard that she straightened out the delinquents who had taken over the kendo dojo. If she... If she finds out, she'll kill me! Though personally, I prefer jumping to running! It seems you didn't hear my question, so I'll repeat myself. Tell me, Isahaya, the third year, are you the culprit? No, 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 I, I don't know anything about that. I didn't use scissors on Ariaki-san's spikes. I never sent a letter telling her to quit track. Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> oh, you know nothing about it at all. She's going to kill me. If you don't know anything, that's fine. I'm sorry I interrupted your practice. <gasps> oh, you were running very well there. I could tell that you practice hard on a regular basis. Continue to keep at it. I love people who work hard. What? What's wrong with her? I don't get it. Doesn't she know how to doubt others? That isn't it, Isahaya Senpai. Not at all. It's not that Madaka-chan doesn't know how to doubt others. It's that she knows how to trust others. <laughs> what? Why are you wearing your gym uniform under your jacket? Just admit that I look good! Well, until middle school, my job was to deal with any bad apples that she spared. And believe me, few and far between. But now, it seems my only job is looking after the suggestion box. This time, I'll follow her lead because I learned from my past mistakes. And I'll trust you to never do anything like this again. Ever. I... I... What? Me? I went home because I hate running! Damn! Why doesn't anyone realize how totally awesome I'm looking now? Um, Hideyoshi... <gasps> uh, Ariaki senpai You do look pretty cool, in a unique way. Uh, uh, what is it? Did I miss something? Did something happen again? Uh, yes, it did. You see, to tell you the truth, uh, 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 the sneakers I've been using disappeared. Uh, they were replaced with brand new spikes and this letter addressed to me. And so, the case was solved. Ariake senpai should be able to sleep soundly at night. However... Curse you, criminal! Now you've stolen her sneakers! And left this provocative message! How can she I be so smart, yet so dumb? The Sandbox Academy Suggestion Box, started by 98th Student Council President Kurakami Madaka, has been dubbed the Madaka Box by the student body, and it's gaining popularity. As the Student Council General Clerk, my main job is to take care of the Suggestion Box. We have three requests today. A lot of people have issues, huh? Oh. But it appears that we have an especially unusual request today. We have three submissions today. A request from the basketball team for a new room, a request for new cafeteria products, and a request to find a puppy. To find a puppy? They got lost on campus during last winter break. This person wants us to find it for them. Then I'll let you handle the puppy. I think it'll be good for you. I don't mind, but you're really letting me handle it by myself? Don't make me say it. You're supposed to understand me. Hmm. Animals and I don't mix. Oh, that's a surprise. The fearless princess actually has a weakness? 
Pretty much. Everyone claims that Madaka-chan is invincible, but she's been through a lot. When she was in the first grade, she was assigned to take care of the class pets. Something happened that left her emotionally scarred. Th won't that affect her ability to do her job? I would think it might. And there you go. That's what I'm here for. To take care of pets. Okay, Sharanwi. I've explained everything, so lead the way. Oh. Yeah, sure. I guess it's okay. He sounds like a schmuck when he's excited. Well now, I believe it's around here. <laughs> there it is! Oh. See, there it is! It has the exact same markings we've been looking for. Oh, Shirami san that can't be it. That's not a poor little doggy who got lost in a walk. That's the kind of dog cities list that rich city folk buy and release! Uh, uh, Please, Hit Toshi. That's a breed of dog called the Borzoi, also known as the Russian Wolfhound. Everybody knows that. Come on! Uh, see? It has wolf in its name! You must be joking! I'm supposed to catch that thing? Seriously? Damn, I don't believe this! All right, Shiranui. Come on, we can do it! What? Me? Why? No way! I'm just an ordinary human being who watches from the safe distance as your friend suffers. That's all I'm doing. Nothing special about me doing that. No, sorry! No, you're not a human being. A picture of your valiant effort as wallpaper. You're just asking to be struck by lightning. <laughs> See there? All the little guy saying is, come over here, play with me, big boy. Are you sure? I thought it was saying, if you wake me up again, I'll tear you apart, and then I'll eat you and make your head watch it. At least that's what I thought. Wanna leave then? Crawl away, tail between your legs? Isn't this your chance to score points with the princess? <sighs> don't mix. Don't mix. Don't mix. Fine, okay, I'll do it. I'll catch the thing, because that's my job. Oh, wait a sec. Take these with you in place. Sausages? Oh, I get it. I can use them as bait to catch the dog. No, that's not it. I want you to hang these from your stomach and go, my intestines are spilling out. But then you reveal that they're actually sausages both mild and spicy to cover your bases. And you do realize that after that, it really will eat my intestines. Damn! Do I really have to do this? So there you have it. Sharon, we and I managed to locate the target, but we failed to capture it. And then it escaped away from us totally. It's crystal clear. I'll have to go with my first reaction, which is that you two are entirely too close for comfort. So, during the six months the puppy was missing, it grew into an adult? No, it's worse. The thing's gone feral on us. Perfect, huh? I met with Akazuki Senpai who submitted the request. But I couldn't bring myself to tell her what happened, so do? I failed there too. <laughs> Originally, they were raised as dogs for hunting wolves. The word bojoy means fast in Russian. Ah, that explains why I didn't stand a chance against old Fido. Well, you don't need to worry about a thing, Madaka-chan. I'm not ready to give up on my mission as of yet. Shiranwi and I will figure out something. You can bet on it. Shiranwi? Well, she'll refuse at first, but she'll lend a hand. She's powerless against my powers of persuasion. Hmm. You probably don't realize this about her, but Shiranwi is pretty indispensable to the student council. Wait, Zenkichi. I shall take over from here. Thank you very much. What? Are you sure? We're dealing with an animal Irrelevant. Here. I've already handled the other cases. And most importantly, I cannot stand the idea of you begging another for help due to my shortcomings. It's embarrassing to someone of my stature. Therefore, we shall start again. In response to the suggestion box request, the student council will ask. Who are you? But of course, it's me. 
I wish it weren't. Your Highness, I have a question for you. Why are you dressed that way? Can't either of you tell? The plan is to convince the dog that I'm just a friend, just another little puppy. When dealing with animals, it's important to reach out to them. You have to meet them on their level, eye to eye. Say, Hideyoshi, is the princess by any chance? So from oh, now on, you finally I'm noticed? Dog. Yeah, too smart for her own good, don't you think? Quite an adorable dog. I can't wait to play with the little angel. Oh my just gosh. Just hold on. You're overdoing it. Besides, I can handle the job without you if I get a little help from a certain little hobbit I know. And by hobbit, I mean Chirami. What's with that expression? Listen up, the both of you. You two can just stand there and watch. I'm going to prove that I'm not a girl who's trapped by her past. Why is she so upset? She's probably jealous of the close relationship you and I have together. You know, special. Huh? That's funny, because I wasn't aware you and I even liked each other. <laughs> but the princess is more human than I thought she was, and that's saying something. She does stupid things, gets jealous, and she's scared of animals. Huh? I think you have it wrong, Sharanwi. Huh? Madaka-chan isn't scared of animals. In fact, she really loves them. Come on, don't be scared. I'll pet you. I'll hug you. I'll play with you. So come on! Let me touch you, you little doggy of mine! What's going on? Like I was saying, Madaka-chan isn't scared of animals. Animals are scared of her. When Kurakami Madaka was in the first grade, she was assigned to take care of the class pets, but whenever she came to visit, the rabbits stayed in their cages. When she tried to feed the fish, they stayed underwater. When the class went on a trip to the zoo, Every single animal, including the most ferocious beasts, went into hiding. Her classmates still talk about it to this day. Personality means nothing to animals. They were simply cowed by her overwhelming power. On the flip side, she has been accepted by the student body. I mean, enough to have been elected as student council president because of her personality, not just because of her ridiculous specs. Well, in any case, Shiranwi wasn't entirely incorrect. And looks like that's everything. There you have it. The Borzoi and its owner are back together. It appears better behaved now than when it was a puppy. But regardless, that's one more suggestion from the box that's been completed. I couldn't even get that adorable doggy to like me. I'm a failure of a human being. Um, yeah, well, you're most definitely a human being. You don't look like a dog. Stop. She loves animals, and she gets depressed. Madaka-chan is definitely more human than you'd think. so you don't hurt yourself, huh? Oh, sorry about that. Looks like our little first year might actually have the stuff to stay in the ring. I could use another ringer to pick up the slack graduates left me with. Sorry, Cap, that's never gonna happen. He's actually on the student council. What? Then why is he showing up for our trial period? Well, I don't know that, but I can tell you this, Coach. If he wasn't with that psycho girl, that dude could be a champion. Okay, I visited the boxing team yesterday, so that covers all the martial arts. So I guess I should put my focus on... Yeah, that's it. I'll take on full contact sports. I don't understand why you're being so active all of a sudden. You were never exactly the athletic type. I'm not really. But I have this rule. 
Every day, I must sweat five liters. Ah! Oh, I know what you mean! I have to drink five liters of ramen every day! Sharanwi, ramen isn't a beverage. Caesar salad is basically vegetable juice. I love it! Well, that may be what it takes to keep up with Superwoman, but you might want to scale it back. And I'd say about half, maybe two thirds. People are talking about you a lot. They're calling you the student council club crasher. What? <laughs> are you worried about me? Come on. I'm not worried about you, you stupid idiot. Look here, dude. It's like this. I'm just trying to build up a reputation, that's all. But tell me, why are you sitting here and having lunch with me like we're friends when we're not? <coughs> so, they call me the Club Crasher. That nickname's a little weak, don't you think? You're trying to gain a reputation, Hideyoshi-kun? <laughs> Come with me, Mr. Big Tough Guy Reputation. I think I could use someone like you. Oh, don't worry. There's something in this for you. You're gonna like it. <laughs> Kanoya Senpai. I have to say, that guy looks pretty scary. Will Hideyoshi be okay by himself? Uh, 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 he should be fine. I only consider Hideyoshi my friend when I need something from him, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm no saint, but you, you're uh. evil, Sharanwi. Hideyoshi should have no trouble handling Kanoya Senpai. Kanoya Senpai was actually a candidate for student council president. He amassed votes through violence, but then the princess gave him a beating and took him out in front of everyone. <laughs> he looked pretty bad when I saw him. He's even worse. And he hates Kurakami too, huh? Probably. So he's probably up to something really stupid. He said he needs help, but he won't submit a request to the suggestion box, if that's the case dumb. Oh. Huh. Hideyoshi hasn't visited the judo team. He said he'd done all the martial arts. The Kurakami Madaka takedown? Yeah, I'm recruiting allies for it right now. Interested in joining our little terror gang? You must be joking. Can't you see this armband? You've picked the wrong person to recruit. A man's entitled to his opinion, I guess. Your title may be General Clerk, but in reality, you're nothing more than that psycho girl's little bitch. I've heard how you've been crashing all the clubs. Just blowing off stress, right? Or is this your way of just letting us know you'd like to quit student council? You must be sick of following her orders every day, getting nothing in return. So you should side with me if you know what's good for you, punk. That girl stole the student council president election by force. Therefore, I should be allowed to use force to remove her. That was because you were scaring girls into voting for you, not because they wanted you in office. Ha! <laughs> You can stop playing the goody two-shoes there. I'm trying to help you out here. I'm your friend, pal. I don't want to see a hard-working guy like yourself go ignored. There must be something else you'd rather be doing. Oh, there are things I'd rather be doing right now. We're holding a meeting today, after school. If you want to switch sides, that's your last chance. Hell, that girl won't give a damn if you turn on her. Trust me on this. <sighs> this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, I don't agree with that at all. This is an exciting turn of events. How long were you there? Since the beginning. Then you already know the whole story. Guess you aren't too popular, Madaka-chan. That's fine. Being loved was never my goal. Never part of the plan. What's important is for me to love everyone. This is none of your business, Sinkichi. The original pretty cure. The white one I'll handle and the black personally. one. After all, it is the ruler's responsibility to quell any none rebellion. None of my business? 
I don't need you to tell me to stay out of it. I am already. Madaka-chan even likes her enemies. On paper, winning 98% of the vote sounds good, but it also means that 2% of the student body opposed her. The election proved that there were those who didn't support her, let's just say unique political views. However, it's irrelevant if those elements plot rebellion or pose a threat. Madaka-chan accepts them all. Kanoya-san! We should have enough weapons soon, so I say we attack. No, we'll need twice what we have here. And could we please get some that are thicker, longer, and easier to handle? <sighs> Aren't you being a little too careful? She might be crazy, but she's just a little girl. Come on, boss, that's tough! You idiot! You're an idiot! She isn't crazy, haven't you seen her? That bitch is a goddamn psychopath! Hey! Has anyone ever heard if she has a weakness? Uh, she just has some issues with animals, I think. What are you talking about, man? I heard she had a pet dog named Buster or something. You're so stupid. Damn! You're all worthless! It's your fault I lost the election! You bunch of losers! Whatever. I made a backup plan, since I knew I couldn't rely on you. Huh? Oh! Hideyoshi-kun! Man, took you long enough. I've been waiting for you. What are you trying to pull? Madaka-chan is even willing to love gap-toothed, red-eyed punks like you. And if you carry out your plan, you probably won't even scratch her. She'll beat your ass. But since you let me find out, I'll have to take steps. My childhood friend can do everything by herself, but I can't neglect her. Kanoya senpai you said there must be something else I'd rather be doing. And I hate to admit to a punk like you, but you were right about me. I want to become someone who can protect Madaka-chan. I have no idea what that means! So tell me, what the hell are you trying to pull here? Your business! You guys don't get a chance to repent. Tomorrow, start spreading the rumors that student council president Kurakami Madaka keeps a vicious watchdog at her side. Whether for personal reasons or reasons that affect the entire school, the student council will act! <laughs> Seems the club crasher isn't gonna drop by like he said he would. <laughs> He's probably scared. I mean, why wouldn't he? Our judo team is the best in the whole country. We kick ass! You fool! Only in the individual category. Is that all you're striving huh? for? <laughs> but, since you brought it up, I wonder why he really is crashing all these clubs. One would almost assume he's planning something devious, but he's not that smart. It was nothing more than a performance born out of desperation and insecurity. A futile display of fictional strength to support his claim that he alone is fit to stand beside the one who's the real champion. <laughs> what did you just say, Akune-kun? Do you know this for a verifiable fact? Of course. Hideyoshi's Zenkichi is a mere insect. While Korakami Madaka is my beautiful flower, a precious blossom. <laughs> No one's coming. Come on, Ariake. If we don't hurry, we'll be late for practice. Yes, I'm sorry. But, Isahaya Senpai, why didn't you wait for me to finish changing? The past few days, you've been really nice to me. I sure do appreciate it. 
am not being nice! <laughs> ah, we're gonna crash! <gasps> Please take more care. That was dangerous. Uh, I'm sorry. We wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Now would we, darling? Senpai! Isahaya Senpai, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Wait, Ariaki. Do you know who that was? Oh, yes, I do. Every second year girl knows who he is. Akune Koyuki, from class 211. The Prince of Judo. Zenkichi! We're visiting the judo team today. Ugh. Lock the door! Close the curtains! Show some modesty! How many times must I tell you this? I don't understand. Why should I have any qualms about showing off my finely toned body? Do you know how hard I've worked to get it this way? Oh great, now you sound like an exhibitionist! What did you say? The judo team? Yes! Their captain, Nebashima, the third year, submitted a request to the suggestion box. This is it. Uh, did she just say... Nabashima Nakomi-san from Team Special? The really famous one? The one they call the judo trickster? She's the judo team captain? Yes. Huh? However, she will soon be stepping down. And she'd like us to help her select her successor. Hmm. Well, in any case, we should pay a visit. Since the judo team has a familiar face, if you know what I mean. I knew that. It's why I wanted to stay away from the judo team. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to our dojo. I'm the one who sent the request. Judo team captain Nabashima Nakomi. I'm so glad that you could join us. <laughs> Student council president Kurokami Madaka. We are here to render any assistance we can. Yep, yep. I'm counting on you, Kurokami-chan. You see, I'm really the captain in name only. And to be totally frank with you, I've been having trouble choosing a replacement. Good help is so hard to find, you know? I didn't expect her to be like oh, this. Oh, that's right. First, someone on our team wants to say hello to you. And I think you two are going to be magic. Akune! Hey, Akune-kun! It's been so very long, Madaka-san. I have stayed in the background, not wishing to disturb you during your valiant and much-needed reformation of the Council. I have awaited the day when you and I would be reunited at last. Let us dispense with the ceremony, Akune the second year. The others are watching us. Besides, for a man of your stature to behave thus sets a bad precedent. On the contrary, my darling. I feel no shame in being in a submissive role to you. I shall never be able to capably express my gratitude. If you wish to express your gratitude, stand tall, chest out, stomach in. Yes, yes, ma'am. Anything, Madaka-san. Anything at all, my dearest darling. <laughs> and now, for the reason we're here, important student council business. To select your successor, I believe a new team captain is needed, right? For now, we'll consider you an exception, Akune the uh -huh. second year. Go chat with Senkichi for a moment. Or maybe more than that. I bet there must be catching up to do. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, so sorry, what was your name again? Hitoyoshi Zenkichi-kun. And who might you be, he said like he cared. Hey! Insect! I see you're still doing a fine job of limiting Madaka-san's full potential. And just to make sure you're aware, it was your fault Madaka-san didn't win 100% of the really? vote! Well, I wouldn't be hard on me if I were you. Your fans would cry if they knew their darling Prince of Judo was bullying an underclassman. It'd only show your true colors. <laughs> my mind and body exist to serve, my dear Madaka-san. 
For her, I would willingly become as reviled as a poisonous viper or one of those nasty mongoose type things. <laughs> that I'm an insect and you're a snake? You're the one who hasn't changed a bit, Akane Senpai. When we went to the same middle school, you liked Madaka-chan so much. And then you hated me just as much as you liked her. Madaka-chan is adored by many, but it was rare to see anyone take their adoration that far. Huh. <laughs> Listen up! I am of the strong opinion judo cannot be taught by others. You learn it yourselves. I shall begin by assessing your worth. If you believe yourself worthy, step up! Don't hold back simply because I'm a woman. And believe me, I will take on all comers and fight until none of you remain. No! Oh my gosh, that's the ultimate counter stance! <laughs> she doesn't seem to respect our story, judo team. I'm almost insulted. Oh, come now, you can't really blame her. We may be the judo team by loose sense of the word, but you and I are probably the only ones who could put up a fight. And just maybe we... Hey! All you just sit back and watch, I'm going first. I'm Jonin, the team's assistant captain. Look at me, you think anybody else is even close to being qualified? <laughs> and you can't blame me if I accidentally touch your boobs during a match, which I am going to... <laughs> Naturally! Oh, However, did you not understand me? I said that I would take on all comers and I wouldn't hold back. Boobies. Nice one, Jonan Kuhn. So who else were you about to include, huh? Oh, please, you're not serious. There's no one. However, Madaka-san is just wonderful. Her brilliance has increased since middle school. <sighs> hey, Hideyoshi-kun, what do you think about all this? Nothing, really. As a middle school second year, she earned herself a red belt through sheer strength. At this point, nothing she does surprises me. <laughs> is that huh? true? Actually, I feel the same way. People call her a psycho or a prodigy, but she simply does what she's able to do, and that's it. She isn't doing anything impossible. As crazy as it sounds, what she's doing is the equivalent of us walking on two legs. On the other hand, I think it's amazing that someone normal like you can keep up with that freak of nature. Most would have fallen to the side. Right? Club Crasher Hideyoshi Zenkichi-kun. Uh, I'm not trying to keep up with her by choice. It's not like I'm in charge. She's the one dragging me around by a ring. She basically forced me to join the student council. I didn't have a choice. I see. So you were forced to join against your will. In that case, why don't I take your place? I do not say this on a whim. Until now, I've accepted this farce out of respect for Madaka-san's compassion. But your time has come at last! You may be only a helpless insect, but you're in high school now, big man. Insects habitually hide beneath large rocks or mats. But you should learn to stand on your own six legs. I'm the one who should learn to stand on my own? Are you kidding? You think I'm helpless? At least I can keep freak shows away from Madaka-chan. I'd like to see what you're doing. <laughs> now, now, now! Stop fighting! This is a sacred judo dojo you need to respect. And while you never showed up to crash our club, I'm certain you're trained in judo. I would be disappointed if you didn't have some skill. So I have an idea. We'll settle this with judo. If Akunikun wins, the two of you will switch roles. Akunikun will join the student council, while Hideyoshi-kun joins the judo team, replacing me as the captain. Nabashima Senpai, was this your actual agenda when you submitted your request? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. I really love hardworking boys like you. I get all tingly inside. <laughs> huh? Okay. During the match, we'll be using the Judo Team Standard Akune rules. There will be no time limit 10-point match versus the no time limit 1-point match. If you can score 1 point before Akune-kun scores 10, you win! Hideyoshi-kun. <laughs> I commend you for not turning tail and running away from my superior talent. Alright, insects don't have tails, now do they, big man? But what is this? You know I had the chance to run away. You should have spoken up sooner, smarty pants. Run away? That was never an option. We accept all requests and challenges without regard to any consequences.
No matter the purpose or circumstances we may face, and with total disregard for the difficulty or rationale behind any situation, the Sandbox Academy Student Council will act with conviction! I will not say that you can't lose, but I won't allow you to run away. Hitoyoshi Senkichi, I demand you embrace this! <laughs> you have a tough boss, don't you? Oh well, you may as well obey her final order. Once this fight is over, our prince will be on the student council, and Hideyoshi-kun will belong to us. <laughs> Go! Huh. Akane-senpai is also on Team Special, as a judo athlete, so I can't beat him straight up. I must end this match as soon as possible. Take the offensive. First strike advantage! Uh, second strike advantage! Uh. Well, look at you now. I don't intend to deny all you've done. It's almost commendable. Believe me, I respect the effort you've obviously expended to keep up with Madaka-san. However, effort is all you have, I'm afraid. Stand up! I still need nine points. I'll squash you before Madaka-san over and over again like an insect. Until you've lost in disgrace and humiliating shame. Yeah? Akuna-kun's on a roll. That was a beautiful stroke. If he has the chance to counter, he can beat anyone. The judo of a prodigy is expected. No fun to watch. <laughs> It appears to me that you dislike prodigies, Nabashima the third year. Yep, I absolutely despise prodigies. And that loathing does include you and Akuniku. My judo philosophy excels in celebrating the triumph of hard work over talent. So I see. The judo trickster provides quite a unique perspective. <laughs> Come on, Kurokami-chan. Prodigies should stick together while the rest of us common folk team up. It gives a zen-like balance. The judo team doesn't need a kuni kun, so you can have it. But in return, how about you give us Hideyoshi kun? <laughs> it's a fair trade, don't you think? Relax. Put your mind at ease, Nabashima the third year. There is no such thing as a prodigy. Huh? Check it out, the match has just begun, and he's already scored seven points! Looks like Akune's going all out, you guys. Makes sense. There aren't lucky punches in judo like there are in other martial arts. An amateur can't possibly challenge Akune! Yep, that's the difference of talent. There are plenty of prodigies. Lots of them. I've made it my calling to beat those prodigies using underhanded methods. Well, you can lose today, Hideyoshi-kun. Six uh, months of training with me, and you'll be able to beat him. I promise. Ah, uh, man, that hurt. I don't think that first year is even trying to put up a fight, but he hasn't broken any rules yet either. Dude, this is judo, and newbie is always gonna break rules, and he hasn't even slipped up. Not once. I mean, I thought he was just stupid. But I think this guy's working on some kind of angle. I retract what I said. You do have metal as well as commendable effort. After nine hits, most of my unworthy opponents would be unable to even stand up. It's true what they say. Tread on a worm, and it will turn! Very well! I shall reward your luck by putting you out of your misery! Today is the day I will end your stubborn denial of Madaka's son's greatness! Damn, there's nothing I can do against him. How am I supposed to win? Madaka-chan shouldn't throw me into battles I can't win. Well, if she cares more about following student council doctrine than having me around, I guess it doesn't matter. If you're willing to take my place, go ahead. Senkichi! <laughs> I shall never, under any circumstances, ask you not to lose in any match you face. <gasps> so win! Just win! If you lost me, I'd be unable to bear it! I'd cry! I'd fall apart! Ah! He's gonna fall! Man! 
I've never seen you cry before, and I'm not about to let that change! No! How... how could you? Double... a double-A takedown? How does he know how to do that move, man? I swept you off your feet, literally. Wait, hey, what were you going to admit, Akane Senpai? Come on, tell me. I admit defeat. You one upped me. This match is yours. <laughs> I don't believe it! He actually defeated a Kun. And wait, I've used that takedown a few times myself, but Hideyoshi Kun's form was beautiful! There is no beautiful or ugly, no prodigy or common folk. Every human struggles to survive in this life. There is no difference between you uh, and me. <laughs> Say, Kurakami-chan, Akune-kun's judo is quite lovely. But did you know he has gorgeous handwriting, too? So, that's what happened for real? Sounds like you had a rough time with all that. A time that would have been easier if you had just asked me for help. What difference would that have made in any universe whatsoever? So, let me ask you this. Did you find anyone to take over as judo team captain? Oh, that's what you meant. In the end, Jonan took over with Madaka-chan's blessing. Only he was brave enough to challenge Madaka-chan. Makes perfect sense. If you think about it, this wouldn't have happened if Nabashima Senpai had given up on recruiting me. And just between you and me, you'd better hope that she's given up. Hmm? What about the prince? What happened to Akune Senpai? Who knows? That has nothing to do with me. Don't worry, I've given up on chasing you out, but I've yet to give up on chasing the affection of Madaka-san. Besides, Nabashima Senpai divorced me. Have I been cut? Have I? That's right. Jonin kun will now lead the judo team for me. We can't keep a prince around who's stronger than our captain, right? I understand that, but you should know I never really considered myself to be a prodigy. I may have had a running start, but it's taken hard work and determination to get where I am now. <laughs> What's this? You agree with the no such thing as a prodigy? In that case, use hard work and determination to win the girl of your dreams! Uh. I've already spoken with Kurakami-chan, so you're free to join the student council or any other club you like. But, but I can't do that! That means I would be breaking my promise to Hideyoshi-kun. If you don't consider yourself a prodigy, you should drop the Mr. Perfect Act, because frankly, no one's buying what you're trying to sell. Does Akune Koki wish to keep his promise, or is he going to choose the girl of his dreams? A decision must uh, be made. Uh, oh, that's right. I have a message for Hideyoshi-kun. Let him know that I haven't given up on him just yet. There you go. As of today, I, Akane Koki of Class 211, have been named Student Council Secretary. I'm so excited to work with you, Senpai. That's the nonsense! The Sandbox Academy Student Council now has three members. Okay, that should do it. But we are seriously starting to run out of room with all these flower arrangements. We need to move some of these outside the office. One month on the job, and we've already filled the room. At this rate, she has a real chance to cover the entire school in flowers. Hello, Hideyoshi Kun. Hey. I see that once again you slave away at your mindless labor. Huh. I must say, I always considered you a harmful insect, but seeing you care for the flowers, you may be a... beneficial bug. I'm used to you insulting me with every other sentence, but why are you dressed like that? Hmm. 
I, Akane Koki, am a student council member. It is my duty to follow the example set by our president, Madaka-san. And I will do so the same way she does, by exposing my mouth and sexy chest! Oh! Check it out! Satanic Wicked! Anyway, where is Madaka-san? Is she not here yet? Oh. There was a request in the suggestion box. She left to bring the requester here. We're running just a little bit short on manpower. This is a tough place to work. Well, anytime you feel like quitting, please let me know. Feel like quitting? Huh. <laughs> that is impossible. Just what I wanted to hear. Then let's get this show on the road. You lay down the road and I'll drive. <laughs> Now, Yatsushura, the third year, explain your request. Summer uniform? Already? <sighs> yeah. Should I perhaps cut off my sleeves? Well, it isn't exactly a formal request or anything like that. But here's what I want. I kind of got this thing for this guy, and we'll just connect the dots. When I saw your campaign poster, I noticed that your handwriting by pen and brush was very pretty. And my handwriting sucks, so I thought, hey, hired gun. Madaka-chan's writing is quite famous. In third grade, she was apprenticed to a famous calligrapher. But after three months, she'd convince them to retire. Or so the story goes. I've always had a complex about my bad handwriting, so sue me. God, don't make me say it! I need you to write a letter for me! Please! Ah, I see. Well, I would not mind assisting. But there is one better suited to help you in this situation. Akume the second year. Now! Secretary Akune, I assign you your first job. You will take full responsibility for this request. Show the students what their student council secretary can accomplish. C consider it done, Madam President. I, Akune Koki, vow to not only fulfill, but exceed your expectations. Uh, yeah, after seeing her request, her handwriting definitely isn't neat at all. But these days, you can just use a cell phone. Well, some things are best expressed through a written letter. I understand the sentiment behind it. <sighs> there shouldn't be any problems with Akane Senpai on the case. Yes, there should not be any problems. Huh? There are no problems. And that's the problem. Hmm? A love letter? <clears throat> yeah, I want you to write a love letter for me, so gosh, don't make me beg! Got a problem with that? No. Of course not. I know, I get it. It's strange for a tough girl like me to give a damn about the mushy stuff. I know how dykey I look, but I... But I fell in love with somebody, and I... Well, I'd change it if I could, but I can't. Give up. I'm afraid that I can never return your love. You see, I can never belong to a single person. I must confess. At first, I thought you were merely pining over some silly crush. But no! I understand! As the secretary of our student council, I promise I give you my word. I promise to create a masterpiece to win the heart of any man. An unmet sonnet of affection. Okay, I guess. I can't wait! Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, sure. I know Yatsushiro Senpai. She's famous around the school for her violence and being a tomboy. <laughs> When she didn't feel like taking the stairs, she jumped out of the window. When the handle didn't work, she broke down the door. I could go on and on and on and on! Uh, Sharonwe, I wouldn't describe that as being violent. Maybe she's just dumb. Hmm. But something doesn't seem right here. Huh? Uh, I'm talking about the princess, not Yatsushira Senpai. I have no idea how good Akune Senpai's handwriting is, but surely it can't be the princess's, right? So why didn't you let Akune handle everything in the first place? I can understand wanting to let him gain experience, but the requester doesn't want to be a guinea pig. You wouldn't expect the altruistic princess to do that. When it comes to picking a fight, I'd have to say you're probably number one nationwide. But you have a point, I'll give you that. However, Sharonwi, 
she wouldn't stop to consider giving new members experience. Oh no, my childhood friend isn't recruiting members to lessen the workload. She actually wants to increase it. Everything's better, faster, cheaper, like anime. And I can say one more thing. Madaka-chan will help people in trouble, but she will not save the weak. I finished the letter. I await your wise comments on its content, Madaka-san. Hmm. Indeed, it was very difficult. After all, this is the first time a true man's man like myself has ever written a romantic missive from a woman's perspective. However, gender challenges aside, I believe that I've been able to create a romantic art. So you're saying that you came up with the contents of this letter? Yes! What do you think? I could deliver it to the author and we could get this erotic ball rolling right now! Well, what I would like to know is whether Yatsushiro the Third Year's objective is to convey words or feelings. Which of those? If you use your own words, your own writing, whose feelings are you going to convey? However, she requested that we pan the letter for her. Do not get conceited. You cannot take another person's place. Yatsushiro the Third Year wasn't asking for help. She was making a wish. She created a problem where there was none. I thought you would be capable of providing guidance for someone in emotional pain. You have disappointed me. I shan't require anything else. <sighs> Madaka-chan doesn't give any slack to those in her circle. Well, I wouldn't sweat it if I were you. You didn't do anything wrong this time. It just happens that Madaka-chan is always too right. Quiet. Oh. I have yet to fall to the point where I need an insect's consolation. And I am not bright enough to concede after just one or two rejections. Just not that smart. What? Huh? Wait! What is all this? Exactly what it looks like. I shall help you practice until you can express your feelings with acceptable style. What are you talking about? I never asked for that! I don't want to write it! It is the student council's duty to go above and beyond the call of duty. Listen, honey. <sighs> a love letter requires that you express your feelings in your own words. Stop fooling around! If I could have, I would have written my own letter! <clears throat> if you can't write a letter now, don't cry to me! Work at it! I'll not indulge you with advice like only your feelings matter and not your penmanship. If you're going to make a wish, you must put forth the effort to ensure that it comes true! In my case, I shall not give up on the girl I love simply because another has a ten-year advantage! Don't worry your pretty head. The ever-artistic Akune will be here to coach you until your handwriting is as beautiful as your deepest feelings. Right! Thank you! Yeah, awesome! After that, Akane Senpai tutored her for an entire week. Yatsushiro Senpai was able to pin her own letter to the one she loved. The outcome of the love letter crafted with blood, sweat, and heart must remain a secret. In hindsight, your performance earned a perfect score. I am impressed. I'm sorry, I just don't know why you're praising me so. I simply did as I was expected of me, that's all. Now, you shouldn't say that. There's no need for humility after having achieved success. Allow me to praise you. <gasps> you did a good job, Secretary Akane. I was wrong. Thank you so much! I, I should be thanking you. Thank you very much. You are too kind. <sighs> and just like that, Student Council President Kurakami Madaka's plan to fill the school with flowers flowed beyond the Student Council office. Hideo Shikun, can I quit the Student Council? Can I? Ha ha, ha ha. 
<laughs> You're not getting away from this, Akuna Senpai. However, Madaka-san is truly amazing. She's done ten times the work we had. If I didn't know any better, I'd think she was a machine. No, that's not true. I'm finding myself overwhelmed by the onslaught of paperwork that I seem to have before me. How so? What do you mean? The main cause is that the clubs have finished recruiting and are starting up business. There are too many requests for budget increases. Ugh. We don't necessarily need a vice president, but we could really use a treasurer. As a former judo team member, I can tell you this much. Every yen in our budget counts. I understand why people are requesting increases. Times are tough all over. Ah, <sighs> money makes the world go round. This school has so many clubs, it's a miracle anyone has time for classes. We have a darts club, a bowling club, a bobsledding club. We're in Japan, for God's sakes. Who bobsleds in Japan? What's the board doing? However, we have a limited amount of funds to offer. If we split it evenly, each club will receive pocket change. That solution wouldn't be fair. If the requests don't stop, I can use, well... I request that you stop! What are we gonna do? By the way, Madaka-chan lives alone. In her first year of middle school, she solved the Jukla theory, reputedly the most difficult math problem ever. As a prize, she received a large sum of money. She's never had to deal with money, never needed to. It would be so out of her skill level and definitely not in our best interest to have her as treasurer. Let me run this by you and see what you think. I say we assign all remaining funds to one club. One of my duties is planning the club relay. Normally this is considered a social event, but we could give the winning club a budget increase. We distract everyone with a big contest, yet assuage the masses by awarding one team with monetary incentives. This guy's good. He'll make us do his job for him. You watch. That is an excellent idea. However, the relay scope is too narrow. If this becomes a serious contest, the track team would enjoy a significant advantage. Huh? Oh, I have the perfect thing. Just give me a sec. Uh, Let me find it here. I was going to bring this up later, but you guys jumped the gun. There was a request in the suggestion box. Huh. Kurakami Madaka-sama, I think it's a waste that our new 50-meter pool is rarely ever used. Could we hold a school event that uses the new pool? Did you say there's going to be an inter-club aquatic meet? Yeah. You know the huge huh? indoor pool that was just finished a couple of weeks ago with that grant? On Sunday, we'll hold an event there. The winning club will receive an increase to its budget. Well, the track team no longer has the advantage. <laughs> so that means our school's less than fortunate aquatic clubs can at least catch a break. Ha! <laughs> we took that into consideration. So we'll host events that have nothing to do with swimming, like an underwater bread-eating race and an underwater pole pull-down. <laughs> what is it? If you have something to say, you just go ahead and say it, Sharanwi Sensei. Something to say? Uh, uh nope. Nothing at all. <laughs> I see. <laughs> However... I was just going to mention that if you're holding this event in the water, you should be aware that it's not going to be a fair contest. Because the Sandbox Academy swim team has three flying fish huh? who care quite a lot about money. Huh? Swim team? Flying fish? What are you talking about? God, you just ramble. Focus. <laughs> huh? Please explain exactly what you mean. Just explain what you mean, please! That's much better. It's, it's disgusting, disgusting how friendly, friendly they, they are. are. There are these people. Three team special students who are the real deal. Nonetheless, they're money grubbers. They only participate in races offering prize money. They'll swim for other schools for the right price. They wouldn't bat an eye at throwing a race. 
And they bet on their own races all the time. I've heard all kinds of stories. Well, you be careful and watch the situation very closely. Your princess might be without peer, of course, but she can still lose. <laughs> An aqua meet? That sounds stupid. Don't say that. This event was made for us. We should participate. If we don't, think of what we'll lose. That's right. I have no complaints so long as they're giving us money. Exactly. We'll be one step closer to a pool full of bills. We'll be swimming in riches. Die, Die for, for money. money. Swim for, for money. money. Submerge for money. Sink them for money. This is as surreal as it gets. Can't believe all 15 clubs who requested budget increases are here. They must need cash. We didn't give anyone hardly any notice at all. Well, I guess everyone's short on cash. I see some familiar faces. The kendo team, track team, judo team. Wait, didn't Nabashima Senpai step down? Uh, where's that swim team that Sharon we mentioned? Huh? Uh, uh. All right, you fools! Make no mistake, this is war! He who does not work will not eat, but this does not reflect the human thought process. Instead, I would say this to all of you. He who does work will eat! You must win your earnings! Okay, we'll now explain the events to all the participants and those simply in attendance. You will compete in four events, and the team with the highest total score at the end of the entire series of events will be declared the winner of our competition. We will explain each event in just a moment, but first, there are three basic rules. First, only three members may participate from each club. We're looking for a display of teamwork, so each club must select a team of three participants. Secondly, Male students will be handicapped. All events are mixed gender, so male students will wear flotation devices to even the playing field. The first two rules were announced beforehand, so as not to be like some award ceremonies, but however, there are- Senkichi, give it to me. I'll take it from here. All yours. Now, my stern introduction was intended to get everyone pumped up. I'm, I'm sure that some will be unhappy that only the winning team receives the prize. But I'd like you to feel that this event was worth your time. I want you to enjoy yourselves. So I've proposed a bonus rule to make even more fun. The student council will also participate in this aqua meet competing alongside you and... If any club, regardless of overall rank, places ahead of the student council, I will triple its budget out of my own pocket! How about that? We told her to stop. Oh, we get to compete with Kurokami-chan. Well, this sounds like fun. Then I will officially declare the first Sandbox Academy Aquatic Meet open! The meet's first event will be... Underwater Basketball! Good, good totsu. Here we go. This was supposed to be a peaceful event. Well, so much for that theory. But after Shiranui's comment, I'm really getting worried. Basketball is first. So what do you guys think? Doesn't matter to me in the least. The girl may be a freak of nature, I won't deny that. But we're like sharks in the water, and she's nothing but chum to us. Exactly. Our objective is absolute victory. Win for money. And, and lose, lose for, for money. money. Here we are at the very first Interclub Aquatic Meet. 
The first event is underwater basketball. All right, let's get started. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am acting president of the broadcasting club, Asa Otana Zuku. And I'm joined by... I know everything of vital importance in the whole wide world. It's straight to the point, Sharnui time. That's me. We'll be your commentators. We shouldn't need to explain the rules. There are 20 balls per team at the bottom of the pool. Throw as many of them as you can into the basket before the time runs out. I don't know why I'm explaining since I just told you I didn't need to. For every ball in your basket, you earn one point. Okay, everyone. Let's, let's all get fired up! So, if I've been told correctly, I understand that you're good friends with the student council member hideyoshi Kun. Uh, uh-huh, that's right. We have a long and deep relationship. Yep, yeah, you can ask me anything about Hideyoshi. Hmm. Uh, well, then will you tell us the story behind hideyoshi Kun and you? Well, we attended different middle schools, so I first met him in April when he picked up an eraser I dropped. It was like a day blessed with rainbows and unicorns. There was romance everywhere. So gallant. Look at him, movie. Short and shallow. Sharonwi's shooting off her mouth again. <laughs> you should have chosen different rules. <laughs> These floaters will keep you from doing anything remotely useful in this game of treasure diving. Since you won't be able to dive at all. <laughs> These devices are meant to handicap the boys. And you, Nakomi-san. Only you would field an all-girl team just because of that. Well, I may have stepped down as captain, but I've never relinquished my title of trickster now, did I? <laughs> uh, how can she be so, so shameless, shameless about, about cheating? cheating? It doesn't matter. If you believe in cheating and using trickery, then so be it. I shall operate by my own standards as well. This will be a good battle. Nabashima the third here. <laughs> She got, she got changed. changed. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Definitely should have chosen different rules. This girl hasn't even been handicapped. So on the line, we have a budget increase for the winning club. Tell me, how do you think the first match will go, Sharon san None of us have played basketball since grade school, so I doubt anyone has a real advantage. I suppose the basketball team might have a slight edge. Huh? What do you mean the basketball team? Uh-huh. Whether you're playing basketball in or out of the water, you have to put the ball in the basket to earn points. That's the way the game is played. Hello, co-anchor, hello! What is it? Well, I was just surprised that you had a reasonable comment. The technique for basketball is somewhat different, but most people won't know that because they're just not up on these things like I am. So if you ask me, this little event will be an exercise cloaked in mystery. No one can foresee the outcome of either team. <laughs> I doubt it will matter what the event is. <coughs> oh, there's the buzzer. Looks like the first annual aqua meet is about to begin. Is everyone ready? On your mark. Get set and go! Damn it, I can't dive with these inflatables! Stupid, use your feet! Uh, even without the inflatables, this pool is too deep! How are we supposed to get them? You can't reach the balls with your legs! The balls are so heavy when they're wet! I can barely throw them! <laughs> Take that! Wow! You can hear the panic in everyone's voice! How does it look to you, co-anchor Toronto? <laughs> a lot of trouble picking up the stupid balls! And if we miss the stupid basket, the stupid ball sinks to the bottom of the pool again! Oh, I'm not the captain. I'm the former captain, but flattered nonetheless. Yeah, this is really difficult. I thought it would be simple, but it's a lot harder than I expected. There we go. Uh, you both wait a second! Why didn't you guys even get out of the swimming pool? Uh -huh. Are you kidding? She's kidding, right? Hello? If we stay in the pool, we'll only be in Madaka-san's way. Huh? Wait, what? Kurokami 
Kami-chan... Uh, well, now that you mention it, where did Kurakami-chan go? Where'd she go? Good question, Nabashima-senpai. Where did she go? It doesn't matter where she went. Cheating and trickery may be your game, but Madaka-chan believes in sincerity and domination. No matter what or when, Madaka-chan always follows her own standards. And that's why she's gonna win and you're gonna lose! <laughs> Amazing! And she used a crazy method to do it! Nope. Her method was the correct one. Earlier I mentioned that the basketball technique is different. It's more effective. If you throw multiple balls at once, it's easier to aim if you have a bigger ball. Because gravity kicks in. And since you're throwing upwards, they usually won't split apart. I told you I knew what I was talking about. Learn to listen. So I don't get 60 points for shooting from the three-point range? But in all my years of experience, I've never heard of anyone throwing 20 at once. Plus, she must have incredible lung capacity to stay underwater so long. I suppose that's our student council president for you. She's amazing! I see now, but... I'm not sure you should have said it. <laughs> It appears that most of the clubs are tied. We should have added points for how fast they finished. It's fine. This makes it more exciting. I was actually worried that the student council would blow away the competition. Madaka-chan is satanically clueless. If the host club finishes first, people will question the results. I'd say we owe Shiranwi our thanks, don't you? No, Senkichi. Huh? There is no reason to thank Shiranwi. And what do you mean by that, Madaka-chan? We wouldn't have finished in first anyway, I fear. Just look at them. They moved surreptitiously and effortlessly without anyone's notice. Yet they reached 20 points more quickly than everyone else, including us. The swim team finished ahead of the student council? Yeah, it's them. Yakushima, Tanagashima, and Kakaijima. I, I was watching the two guys dive underwater with those inflatables on their arms. The swim team. The three flying fish Shiranwe mentioned. Sure, there were three of them, but they actually finished before Madaka-chan? Huh? <laughs> I had to take a deep breath to stay underwater for so long, but none of you did anything of the kind before diving. Weight, mass, and force of gravity. Take these factors into account. They make humans heavier than water. However, humans tend to float because of the air inside of their lungs. Before diving, you exhaled after your last breath, going underwater without any air in your lungs. You were sinking like corpses! One mistake and you could have died! Do you not want to live? Do I want to live? Why the hell would I give a damn about living in a world like this? We're more interested in money. A young student council president wouldn't understand our philosophy. We will smile for one yen just as easily as we will die for one yen. The school board of Sandbox Academy is passionate about education and has started a special program to recruit top students from across the country. All students in classes 10 and above are special. The school provides for these students so they can live in convenience and comfort. But as you've seen, Team Special has many peculiar characters. Thus, it's extremely rare for Team Special members to join forces, as the swim team has.
the battle for a bigger budget! This is the first of its kind, first ever inter-club aquatic meet! Time for the second event! The underwater three-legged race! Rules for this event are very simple. The two participants must tie their legs together and then sprint! The first team to the finish line receives 15 points, second place receives 14 points, third receives 13 points, and so on. Well, any comments, Sharon we saw? <laughs> it's so stupid, it's awesome! Well, you would expect the track team to hold the advantage, but certainly, I expect the swim team and the student council to shine! <laughs> oh, Kurakami-chan, you aren't in the second event. If I were in every event, it wouldn't be a team meet. <laughs> yeah, you've got to get the younger kids a chance. Anyway, you managed to attract some crazy folks, didn't you? What do you mean by that? Don't play dumb with me. The three flying fish from the swim team. <laughs> they can be hard to deal with since they'll do anything for money. Such greedy little things. Do you know them? Well, I guess. Their leader, Captain Yakushima, and I are in the same class. Most team special members are oddballs, but Yakushima-kun is in a class of his own. He's a different breed of prodigy from Akune-kun and you. He excels at the butterfly, breaststroke, backstroke, sprints, distance, and medley. An all-rounder who can really do it all. It's impressive. I admire his ability, but it's impossible to know what he's thinking or even what he wants. <laughs> he's a man of mystery and I like it. Actually, we don't need people to understand us. We have no interest in you or what you want. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you what we want and we'll get. You see, the boys and I have a dream. A dream to spend all day swimming in a pool of bills, and so we'll win enough money to do just that. So much money, there'll be none left for you. Listen up, Hideyoshi-kun. It would be inappropriate for the meet's host, the student council, to simply trample the opposition. But that doesn't make it all right to go easy on them either. It wouldn't be sporting of us. Yes, of course! Let's do our best and win this match. I'll try to match your pace, so go all out, okay? I see. How incredibly foolish of me to question your integrity. I'm blessed to have such a wonderful partner as my water wingman. I feel the same. Now let's show them what the student council can do! Absolutely! The modern high school student is focused on the individual and occasionally Halo! Ready? Come on, let's you and I demonstrate the Set. power of teamwork! Go! Ah! Whoa! The student council is off to a roaring start! However, they are working together! They're racing each other! What are they doing? Wretched insect! How dare you match me stride to side! Back off! Or if it was not for me setting the pace, you'd still be in the kiddie pool, little mermaid! This is really ugly! A tragedy to see! Yeah, but they're still incredibly fast this year. I don't think we'll recover from this humiliation. Look at that! Isn't that the team that scored 20 points in the first event? But they're in last. In a surprising development, the favorite swim team appears to have fallen behind. That's no surprise. Amazing as Yakushima Senpai may be, he can only keep up with Tanigashima Senpai for 25 meters. Huh? So sorry to keep you waiting, Tanigashima. No worries at all, my friend. I'm quite used to having to wait this long for what I want in life. Well then, let's go.
No, teamwork isn't the issue here. They were swimming with their legs tied together. They could have drowned. That was incredibly reckless. And the swim team also dominated the third event. The third event was eel catching. One point per eel. Each team was allowed one person. Nabashima Senpai was only able to catch nine. While the swimming team's first year ace, Tukaijima, managed to capture 13 eels for 13 points. It was apparent that this was going to be a tough match. As for the student council, we sent Madaka-chan. Her natural animal repellent kicked in and scared off all the eels, and the student council finished with zero points. So things weren't exactly going well for us. Looks like the swimming team wins. What's the final event? Like they tell me anything. It would be unfair to the other teams if the student council selected all the events, so it was decided that the final event will be chosen by the announcer, also Senpai. Speaking of fair, I don't think it was fair to let the swim team join up together. It's a disadvantage. <laughs> I expected the student council to put up more of a fight. Huh? Don't forget! We get all of the funds that have been allotted, plus three times our original budget. You got it? Money, money, money. Isn't there anything else you care about? Try to have some fun. Remember, dude, not everything in this life is about money. <laughs> there is nothing else. The only thing in this world that matters to us all is money. This is absolutely pathetic. Huh? The student council president? Once you were earnest swimmers who would never sacrifice integrity for profit, the only thing I can surmise is that you must have experienced an unimaginably traumatic event that turned you into money grubbers. Here we go again. Kurakami Madaka's forte number one, a pretentious appeal to innate goodness. But fear not, for I shall rehabilitate you such that you will donate all your money to a worthy charity or public radio station. All our money? Go ahead and try. I'll have you drowning in despair rather than water, you political prude. Meanwhile, as the rules have clearly set forth, the head announcer, which is me, gets to choose the event. Not that I'll listen to you, but Shiranui, what do you think the final event should be? What? I can choose what I want? Really? Behind the scenes, the worst case scenario... In that case, I... ...was underway. I can't wait! Why do I have to be in the back? Because you lost at rock, paper, scissors. The last event will be an underwater cavalry battle. For better or worse, this will determine our champion. And that's what everyone's dying to know. Who will end up with a budget increase? A word from Shinrawi-san. Yep, yep. I know everything in the whole wide world. I'm straight to the point, Shiranui time. Well, this is just your standard cavalry battle. As everyone knows, if you lose your bandana or fall into the water, you lose not only your rack, but the point. However, we're changing the rules to give the trailing teams a sporting chance. Points will be awarded based on quality, not quantity. A bandana from a higher ranking team will be worth more points, and therefore the winning of the game. For example, the bandana from the current first place team is worth 16 points, while the bandana from the last place team is worth only one, which is not much. So if I'm understanding this complex competition correctly, the top teams will be targeted. Exactly. Ha! Now that's the way to make this contest just a little more exciting. My buddy sure is smart. I love you, Sharon Wing! And this is just how friendly they are. You're free to love whomever you wish. However, do not forget your duty as a student council member, Hitoyoshi Zenkichi. She used violence. The rules are secondary. Those are the opponents we need to defeat. What do you think? I'm not so sure about it. Look at it this way. Currently, we have 48 points, while the student council has 33. If the student council takes our bandana, they'll be in first. If we take the student council's bandana, we'll have a 15-point lead over the second-place track team. These rules weren't meant to help the bottom teams. Don't you see what's happening here? These rules were meant to pit us against them. We can use that to our advantage. <laughs> There's no need for us to follow her script. Huh? 
We have nothing to gain from it. It would be safer to target the seventh place team's bandana. Yeah, you're right. I think we should go with that. Then the money will be ours and we'll be rich. Well, well, what's this? Uh, Are you planning to just scurry away? Don't be so shy. Let's fight. Uh, then I can teach you about the things that are more valuable than money. Uh. Yikes. She needs to stop. That topic is taboo around her. She doesn't know what she's doing. I'm sorry, guys. I shouldn't have said that earlier. I retract my previous statement. Now I'm pissed. So let's get rid of that girl. Yeah, sure. And now it's time for the last battle. Ready, set, go! And they're already facing off! The student council versus the swim team! Does it appear to be an even match, Sharon we saw? I'd have to say that it's more a question of footing. The princess is much stronger, but the horses are made up of two people. Even if you remove one from the equation, the swim team has superior teamwork. It's like these men were born for the water. They're like a couple of fish out there. I have to say, you are quite impressive. I admire your strength and tenacity. I love it when people impress me with their grit. Uh, it's too late for that now, you freak. You call this money grubbers earlier, and I take high offense to that. Was I wrong? Your tactics were far too reckless. Live for money? How could you say such a thing? I cannot overlook that statement. You are simply drowning in money. Shut up, you! What would you know about it anyway? My dad disappeared because we didn't have money, none! My mom worked until she ruined her health. Yakushima Senpai's family fell apart because they didn't have money. The orphanage where Tanagashima Senpai grew up closed because it ran out of money. It's painfully obvious that money is more valuable than our lives. I care about money more than my life. My life! <sighs> so this time, her pretentious appeal to innate goodness was correct? Can't say that I'm too happy about it. I don't care if I'm risking my life. I wouldn't mind dying for money. There are worse things to die for. People wouldn't be upset if we died, but people would be upset if they lost their wallet! Huh? Kuro Kami Madaka of the Student Council has been sent flying! Her support has crumbled! The battle is over! We didn't take her bandana, but with the Student Council out, we've nothing to fear from the rest. Don't act like spoiled children! Your lives may have been a living hell. But that doesn't make it okay to throw them away. For someone who cares so much for money, you've made a very expensive little blunder, Kakaishima, the same year. You have earned my wrath! Am I seeing this? Because it looks like President Kurokami Madaka is standing uh -oh. on water! That's not it! Th this is unbelievable! Are those the student council's inflatables? Did they throw them where she would land while they were off balance? I don't really care if we win or lose. That's not what this is about. However, you really did manage to piss me off today. So today I'm not gonna hold her back. You go get him! Go, Madaka-chan! You might not do too well underwater, but it's a different story in the air! Ah! President has jumped onto the swim team! You can recover a wallet that has been lost, but you can never recover a lost life. There is nothing more important than your lives. If you died, I would be sad! <laughs> Kurakami Madaka's forte number three. An excessive display of affection. It's super rare. Oh! Both contestants fell in the water simultaneously! Yeah, but the princess wiped huh? her opponent's bandana while she was preaching. It was incredible! Well, I don't understand then. What's the verdict? That's simple enough. The rule is that you're disqualified if you fall into the water. And standing on inflatables counts as being above water, making her final attack legal! So that means the student council has earned 16 points! They're now in first! 
It was a close match. A truly priceless battle. I couldn't be more impressed. P president <laughs> Why in the world would you care about a bunch of thugs like us? You must be crazier than we are. Just so you know, this loss changes nothing. Nothing at all. We've devoted our entire lives to the pursuit of money. And there's no way we're gonna change now. <laughs> there's no need to change anything at all. I don't want you to change. Huh? As long as you don't die because of your lifestyle. Live for money instead of dying for money. A money pool? Oh, swimming in an Olympic-sized pool of bills sounds like a wonderful dream. Dreams should be wonderful. I would love to swim in a pool of bills, so please make it happen. Live and fulfill your dreams. A dead flower can never bloom. You should treasure the lives of your friends. Huh? Yakushima-san. Tanegashima-san. Huh? Which do you care about more, money or me? Ha! <laughs> That's a stupid question. Why do you ask? Of course money's obviously more important. Exactly. Don't let that freak fool you. He's nothing to you and he's never gonna be anything to me. <laughs> I guess you're right. If so then, which do you like more? Money or me? You! <gasps> I like you guys, too. <laughs> I like you more than I like money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall apart because of a kiss, little girl. Starting tomorrow, it's back to making money for our pool. And there's the whistle. The Interclub Aquatic Meet has ended. Our winner is the Judo Team, led by Nagashima Matomi. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> For the top prize, it was the judo team who quietly dispatched the other teams. After claiming 303 points in bandanas, they won by a What? Landslide. That was allowed? Intense battle? <laughs> Deceit always triumphs over honesty. Underhanded trickery. This is my true style of victory. <laughs> But next time, we'll fight directly, Kurakami-chan! Pull yourself together and come find me! I'll be waiting for you. How can she be so cool, yet so cheap? Okay then! The first Interclub Aquatic Meet has ended! Once again, this has been Aso Tanazuku! But let's not forget my lovely co-anchor! I know everything in the whole wide world! I'm straight to the point, sure on Wee Chan! Thank you all for watching! The judo team was awarded the budget increase as promised. But Nabashima Senpai said they didn't need it all, so they shared it with the other clubs. That girl enjoys playing dumb. And so, the event was a success. However, I received a lot of criticism about using my own money to fund a school event. To ensure this never happens again, I've hired an expert on money to join the student council. Allow me to introduce her. Oh. Kikajima, the same year, will take over as treasurer. We're renting her from the swim team, so be nice. I'm here to make money. If you waste money, I'll dispose of you, so be careful. There you go. Make sure you try to get along, boys. <laughs> the Sandbox Academy Student Council finally has a treasurer. With that, the budgeting work that had been stalled until now began proceeding smoothly. Well, that's good and all, but... Well, I'm glad we're getting more members in the council, at least. But why is everyone who's joining after me getting better positions? You'll have to work your way up. Well, I have neither the ability nor the desire to be secretary or treasurer. But it just doesn't seem right. Cough it up.
it up, pal, and just keep it coming. Uh, what are you talking about? You just saw me naked. You peep, you pay, you got it? You beat the crap out of me and you still want money from me? You're nuts. Ha, it's your fault. You're the one who didn't lock the door when you were changing clothes. And I don't mean to break your heart, but if you think I ever want to see you naked... Oh! <laughs> Let me introduce you. This is the student council treasurer, A-team special student from class 111. She doesn't look it, but she's actually a swim team ace and very talented. Of course, she's only here due to her grasp of money, an ability the student council has been sorely missing. After setting the conditions that she be allowed to prioritize the swim team, as well as receive wages of 320 yen per day, Kakaijima accepted Madaka-chan's invitation. Okay, let's get to work, shall we? Where's the computer, your laptop? No such thing in this club. An abacus? We don't need computers with Madaka-chan around. She can do all the calculations we need in her head. She has intel inside? Oh well, I guess buying a computer would be wasteful. And this works fine for this. Wow, awkward. There's nothing to talk about. I'm suffocating. Why am I sitting here reading manga while Kakajima's working? Now that I think about it, I know nothing about her. And she's so focused on work and ignoring me completely. I don't think we're going to get along very well at all. Once I paid up, I no longer existed. Why aren't Madaka-chan and Akane Senpai here today of all days? Oh. It's so quiet. What should I do? I started working to show that I'm serious, but it was a mistake. Hideyoshi kun is reading manga? He isn't interested in me at all. How am I going to face Yakushima-san and Tanigashima-san too? You were invited to join the student council? That's great. Go for it. You should learn more about the outside world. <laughs> exactly. You need to make some friends in your grade or you'll have a hard time over the next two years. Right. I'm here to make friends. Hideyoshi! Hideyoshi! Huh? Uh, uh, yeah. Isn't the weather nice today? Isn't it? It's, uh, it's pouring rain. Oh, that's weird. I read in a book that talking about the weather never fails to start a conversation. Uh, does Hideyoshi Kun hate me? Crap! Was that a chance to break the ice? Oh, I screwed up! I should have said something like, rain does have a certain appeal to it. Well, Kakaijima's a team special student and has a higher rank, but I've been on the student council longer. Okay, I'll make the first move. I guess I should start by offering a compliment. She's probably as athletic as Madaka-chan. Hey, Kakajima. I gotta say, that is one rockin' tight butt. Oh! Oh! Uh, now it's even worse. I have no idea how to talk to a girl. Oh, he definitely hates me. I want to apologize for hitting him, but I can't. I want to return his money, but I can't. Uh, someone, someone help, help us, us break the ice! ice. Hit I thought I heard you calling me. Do you have something good for me to eat? I'm absolutely starving! We, we got, got the, the person, person who can't, can't ever take, take a, a hint. hint! Oh, what's this? Why, if it isn't Kikaijima. Oh, that's right. I heard you joined the student council. I'm Shiranui. Nice to meet you! Shiranui, Hansade? This girl is an enigma. She was essentially in charge of the aquatic meet, and she isn't an officer, so why would she come to the student council office? It just doesn't make any sense to me. That's right! I have something I wanted to give you. Where did I 
흐르또 Of angles. Which one do you want? Sharonwi. Don't bully our new recruit. We need her badly. I'll buy you something good to eat sometime, okay? <laughs> so, leave her alone? Okay. Sorry. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, Hideyoshi. Yeah, bye bye. Sorry about that, Kakaijima. My oh. buddy's a real troublemaker. No, no, he saved me. Who is she, anyway? She's such a charmer. Well, beats me. I don't know, actually. You don't know? Shouldn't you know? It doesn't matter. She's my friend, and that's really all I need to know about her, if you think about it. Friend? What? But what about the president? Huh? Well, um, does she do this to everyone in the entire school? Uh... No, not exactly to everyone. She used to play fast and loose, though. Honestly, most of the people our age had their first kiss with Madaka. She was kind of like a kissing bandit. But once we reached grade school, I told her to start restraining herself. So her excessive display of affection has become a trump card. She hardly ever uses it. So you were privileged to be part of a rare experience. And then there's forte number four. Oh. I shouldn't mention that now. Why does she love people so much? I don't understand that. I don't understand how she could be born to help strangers like she does. When I had no money, no one was there to help me. And those who are supposed to be my friends abandoned me. But I don't hold a grudge against anyone. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. This whole world is about give and take. I have nothing to offer to anyone who would like me. Oh, really? Could you say the same about Yakushima Senpai and Tanagashima Senpai? Let me ask you this. When you think about those two, do you think about what you can give and take in your relationships? But I'm not like that with my friends. I'm not. They're like family to me. It's only natural I would like them like I do. There you go. Madaka-chan is the same way. She considers everyone on this planet part of her family. She can't help but love you. With all her heart. Huh? Kikajima, the same year? What are you doing there? Me? But what? Why are you? Well, this is perfect. I've been looking for you, you know. Huh? You see, ever since our encounter in the pool, I can't stop thinking about you. It appears that I've fallen in love with you. And it just so happens that we are in desperate need of a treasure. Help us, please. People ask me for compensation all the time, but it was the first time anyone had asked me for help. Besides, Madaka-chan is really... When did I start talking casually with Hideyoshi-kun? Oh, this is my chance. My chance to make a friend. But what should I do? If I try too hard, I might screw up again. I know! I should follow the president's example! She always thinks that people Hideyoshi! don't know what true love is. Huh? I... I've fallen in love with you! So... Let's kiss! Huh? Well, that was quite a difficult problem, wasn't it, Madaka-san? I have to say, I don't think I foresaw that happening then or ever. Indeed. Unfortunately, disasters on that scale happen quite frequently. We all know life is like this, which is precisely why the Student Council is prepared for anything under the sun. Well, we were able to focus on the problem because of the members who stayed behind. We must thank Zenkichi and our new wonderful treasure. Indeed. The insect has managed to make himself useful. 
Mabuzataka-chan! Senkeiji, please. You're free to be adventurous while you're young. But let me tell you this. You should be more selective with where you do these types of things. That's right, Hideyoshi-kun. Have you no respect for the student council office? You're the one to talk! And you, you have it all wrong! T totally wrong, okay? <laughs> the Sandbox Academy Student Council has one open spot. What? You want me to model for you? Yes! I understand it's a shameless request, but please, I'm begging you! I simply must have you! You borrow Kun from class 112. You're part of the art club, right? How dare you! I'm not a member of the art club! I'm an artist! We've got another oddball on our hands, don't we? Very well, you borrow the same year. I am pretty bad, so draw me back. Excellent! 980 yen! You look wonderful, Madaka-san! You are a goddess! Please, Secretary, goddess would be an exaggeration. Fairy, though. A compliment like that is just lovely. Man, why would a goddess pose like some kind of bodybuilder? And the side no, chest No, Hideyoshi-kun. Akune-san is absolutely right. Because the theme of my piece will be a goddess on the beach! In other words, my model must be a goddess. Hello, duh. Oh, yeah, I see. I think I got it now. Yabaru kun is a team special art student. It appears he's working on a piece for an upcoming contest. However, Yabaru kun is an artist. He has to find the right motif before he can start drawing. As a result, He's been in kind of a slump. But then he found his inspiration in our Daka chan A model? Well, I... if you... Well, all oh. right. I'd be flattered. Considering that Madaka chan has no qualms about exposing her body, this problem was too easy. Though, I don't like how Akane's senpai looks so happy. Ah. Anyway... That's another problem solved. It wasn't. No! I can't draw her! I can't draw Kurokami-san! Huh? What are you talking about? This is great. No, I can understand what Yubaro-kun means. This sketch fails to capture Madaka-san's beauty. Ah, huh? A drawing must surpass mm. the original motif to be considered <laughs> art. You're absolutely right. If you want an exact replica of the motif, you can take a photograph! Don't you see? Artists are meant to transcend reality! In other words, plebeians, Kurakami-san's beauty is so perfect, it cannot translate into art! <gasps> oh no, Madaka-chan is hurt! Hey, you Yuvardu, how could you be so selfish after begging her to be your model? Artists are selfish creatures, Hideyoshi-kun. Nay! An artist who is not selfish is no artist! Damn. That was so funny, I can't think of a comeback. What do we do, Akane-senpai? There isn't much we can do. We don't have any choice but find a different model because Madaka-san is out of artistic action. A different model? Hmm. A what? A model? No way! And did you say wearing a swimsuit? Can't you help us out just this once? If you don't want us to tell Ariake senpai all the bad things you did. What's wrong with you? How can you sound so timid while you're blackmailing a girl? You're the only person that we can ask, okay? Your well-toned body honed by track is certainly worthy of becoming art. Do you not realize what a muscly Mona Lisa you are? You're a masterpiece! Really? <laughs> if you say so, I uh, guess. Yeah, she's too easy. Well, it would appear we have the same idea. Not-so-great minds can think like great ones. Hey, Hideyoshi-kun. Same idea? You need to show my Isahaya senpai a little more respect! Your eyes will pop out when she's stripped! Not stripping! That's nonsense, you insect! My Nikomi-san doesn't need to strip to make your eyes pop! And since when did we become yours, huh? Thank, thank you so much. 
I promise to create a masterpiece. And if you both help me, I can do just that. Oh, it's okay. We have nothing better to do. <laughs> Speak for yourself. We've got lots to do. <laughs> Let's get started. The athlete and fighter are teaming up together. Thank you very much. Next, please. The victims are increasing in number. This guy is so selfish. I believe that art should be used to inspire wonder and amusement, but never fear. To be honest, those two scare the living gay Jesus out of me. What should we do, Akane Senpai? There isn't much we can do. We'll have to find someone else. <gasps> huh? Huh? What about you? Will you serve as my model? No, I won't. <sighs> That's the oh. obvious answer after everything that's happened around here so I far. I can pay you. I'm loaded. <gasps> money? I'll do it! He understands our accountant better than she understands money! He's not part of Team Special for nothing! Forget it! On second thought, you would be a goddess at the pool or a fountain, maybe aquarium, not the beach. <gasps> not worth a beach, just a pool. What do we do, genius? Looks like we're out of options. It appears that the student council may experience its first failure earlier than anticipated. Wait. Huh? Huh? Is it time to give up? No. Madaka-san! Are you okay? You should be lying down. A bold <laughs> idea is divinely inspired. That's when you know the idea is bold and new. The Sandbox Academy Student Council has two members left. Student Council in the house! I like where my rush is going. I can draw and draw and keep drawing. But what does it accomplish? Nothing. In the end, art for art's sake is nothing but canvas and gouache. Yes, this could be Men by the Waves. Good grief, we finally run out of options. Wait a minute. Think you're being a little selfish? Yeah, four pretty girls aren't enough for you, you greedy little Van Gogh. Why don't you stop whining and just draw your picture already? I thought you were in a rush. Mm-mm-mm. I may be in a rush, but I can only draw what I want to draw, what I'm inspired to. And yes, I may be a selfish little beach princess, but at least I try not to be careless. Hmm. I like your attitude. However, the situation remains unchanged. Yes, quite right. So what are you looking for in a goddess? If I had the answer, I wouldn't be struggling now, would I? No. I'm afraid we artists are doomed to wander blindly until we find the perfect motif to match our medium. <gasps> it's Yoshiku! Wait a minute, you're still not done with work? Get moving, I want to go do some snacking! Uh, what? Oh, oh, Am I interrupting something? Yeah, sorry, Sharanwi. You'll have to go without me. <laughs> this is it! Yes, it's her! <laughs> what? <laughs> It's still time! <laughs> Her innocent face, curveless body, undeveloped limbs! She far huh? exceeds the other models. Huh? huh? This is true art worthy of correction! I see, so Yabaro kun wanted to draw the goddess of potential. That wasn't gonna happen with this crowd. I don't understand, but I think I may have won. Awesome! No, you definitely lost this one, I can tell you that. And so, Shiranui served as a model in return for 500 yen in cafeteria vouchers. And Yabaro kun had his work of art in time for the contest. Uh, are you listening, Madaka chan? Hello? <laughs> Shiranui stole all the glory this time. The student council failed in inspiring a student. I don't think Yabaro feels that way. Here, take a look. This is his way of thanking us. He can only draw what he wants to draw, right? A special unit whose purpose is to maintain order at this school. An independent organization beyond school board and faculty jurisdiction. They're known as the school police. And that's against the rules. None of your apparel.
girl conforms to any school rules. An unkempt appearance is a sign of an unkempt spirit, meaning you must be filthy on the inside. While I, Onegasi Harigane of Discom Squad 3, still draw breath, I will never permit students wearing such bizarre garb to take a single step beyond the front gate! What do you want us to do about it? What kind of attitude is that? Okay, fine, then what about them? What do you mean, them? <laughs> should be role models for the students. Who in the world possessed you to take the lead in violating school policies? <gasps> Hideyoshi Zenkichi-kun, why are you wearing your gym uniform beneath your jacket? Do you think that's some new fad? Well, I know. I'm a little ahead of the curve of everyone else. Akune Koki-san, even if you happen to be a diehard Elvis Presley fan, that does not excuse your brazen attire. If you put it like that, I admit I have no excuse to hold out for your acceptance. Finally, Kikajima Mogana-san! Why are you acting as though you aren't part of this conversation, hmm? Because I'm not Miss Nosy Pants. My skirt is even a standard length. You can't fool me with tricks like that, Miss Yonosu! Wearing that? That is yes, come on. <laughs> that was quite impressive. But sorry, I was only testing you. And, and why, why is she patronizing, patronizing Onagase? When will the rest of the world catch up? My beauty. Uh, I feel so weak and cold. Excuse me. Could I possibly wear just my swimsuit? Of course you can! <sighs> Have you completed your purge? Hmm? How about you and I just call it a day, Onagasi, the same year? You and I know that none of it mattered, really. Oh, it's Tuko Prez! I apologize for interrupting your meeting. shameful than the way you're dressed, huh? More shameful? You could not be more wrong about me, my dear. <coughs> I, Kurakami Madaka, am not ashamed of my beautiful body. It's your clothing, not your body, that should cause you shame. Exposing that much cleavage is immodest. I wouldn't say this exposes cleavage. It's only that I've covered everything but my cleavage. Do you normally go naked? You should consider the influence you wield. What if other students were to follow your example? It'd be trashy! Oh, really? Well, then I say let them. In fact, I'm considering making this the standard uniform for all girls in the school. You have some very nasty ideas! Seems even Madaka-chan is having trouble with that one. Hm. Always an insect, Tideyoshi-kun. Madaka-san is preparing to use one of her famous phrases. A phrase so potent that not a single one of us will have no choice but to groan at its lameness. Regardless, please change your outfit, Kurokami-san. Or have you some valid reason to make me change my mind? Here it huh? comes. I do not wish to do it! <laughs> Madaka-san, that wasn't very wise. Opposing the disciplinary committee is a bad idea. There's no way it'll have a happy ending. Onigasi-san has a reputation for being quite difficult. Onigasi, the handcuffed knuckle. She is their new mediator for the fiscal year, reportedly recruited by the committee chairman himself. To maintain order, she is willing to use violence. And since she came on board, the number of school violations has decreased dramatically. I dislike the idea of using violence, but her motives are not mistaken. However, I do not believe I'm doing anything wrong. People do not exist to follow rules. Rules exist to protect the people. Oh, I am so pissed! 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 I am so pissed off! Oh. Huh? I am pissed! What is she doing? Shut up, she'll come after you. Whoa! 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 
Why is that girl the Stucco Prez? I am seriously pissed. We work ourselves to the bone maintaining order and all we get is hate while that joke of a student council enjoys a 98% approval rating. Hey, on a gossip. <laughs> Do you need something, Hideyoshi Zenkichi-kun? I must go and report that girl's behavior to the chairman of the school board and hope he rectifies it. Yeah, about that. Maybe you could just forget about that. And then I'll promise I'll make Madaka-chan change your outfit. Let's not make things any worse. Do you honestly think that you can change her? No, I don't. Uh, couldn't you just let it go? Madaka-chan is a bit of an exhibitionist. <laughs> Want me to change? I'll go make it! That's why we must act right now! But ignoring her fashion choices, you have to admit that she's accomplished a great deal in this school. Then I should overlook unlawful behavior because of the good she's done? No, see, that's not what I meant at all. I shall not accept that excuse. Following that logic, the elite would be allowed to break every rule. And that chaos Ugh. cannot be allowed to begin. All are equal before the law and legal system. That is why the disciplinary committee must operate independently without any oversight. We must answer to no one! I see. Well, that's nice. Ugh, sorry, Madaka-chan. I can't stop I'll her. I'll grant you. It is true that she has done a fine job as student council president. But I believe I know the real reason. The suggestion box seems to be performing its function, and that is... Oh, <laughs> the suggestion box! I can use the suggestion box! <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that this won't end well for her at all. For what purpose did you summon me here, Onagase the same year? Just so we're clear, I have no intention of changing my uniform. Uh, uh, oh! Actually, a submission to the suggestion box accidentally made it over to the disciplinary committee, and I read it without even thinking about it. <laughs> it appears that an anonymous person has lost an important object in the school for an unknown reason. This petitioner wishes you to find the object. If it isn't dealt with quickly, the water will melt the object. So, as someone who also loves this school, I felt impelled by my sense of honor to set aside our dispute and convey this message to you. Oh, I wish I knew how to swim! That girl is terrible at lying. <laughs> Perfect. I'll dub this Operation North Wind and the Sun. As she prepares to search the muddy pool, she'll realize that she needs to change into her swimsuit. And while she searches for an object that doesn't exist, I'll switch her uniform with a standard one. It's almost like I'm tricking her into changing. Okay, I'm actually just tricking her. But I don't want to have to admit to the chairman that I used such methods. <laughs> now what will you do, Kurokami-san? Now what will you do, Kurokami-san? Hmm. I don't really understand. But I get it. Here we go! The student council will now act based Whoa. on the request submitted. <laughs> no! What are you doing? Huh? I'm looking for the missing object. Not that! Your clothes! If you wear your clothes in that dirty water, they'll get ruined! What's wrong with that? I really haven't the time to listen to you babble incessantly like you do. You say ruined, but at the end of the day, they're simply clothes. Well, while she may be an exhibitionist who breaks school rules, that's simply how Madaka-chan is. You can try to change her outside appearance, but she'll be the same person on the inside. Oh, you never mentioned what the missing object is, Onagasi, the same year. <laughs> what could this important object be? Oh... We're looking for my conscience, but you've already helped me find it. Are you serious? It's fortunate you found it before the water melted it. What? You have seven spare uniforms? Are you kidding me? Oh no, so you don't have any spare uniforms? Then what will you do tomorrow? What will you wear? W what should I do? Well, fear not, Onagasi the same year. But, uh, what? Hitoshi! What kind of sin would someone have to commit to earn this punishment? I don't want to be nosy, but I'd love to find out. Well, you'll love this. She tried to trick Madaka-chan into changing her uniform. Try not to stare. Uh, I'm still pissed! 
I will crush Kurokami Medaka! Have a black hole in your stomach? <laughs> Please! I may have a black soul, but that doesn't mean I'm a black hole. I don't swallow everything that comes my way. I need not mention eating while walking, but consumption of food on school grounds is also an offense. Ah. You're from the, the Exhibitionist Committee! I'm Onagase from the Disciplinary Committee! Shiranui Hansude-san, I've heard stories about you. Oh, many stories, actually. And I finally caught you red hand oh. You have no right to accuse me. You have no proof anymore. I mean, whatsoever. The proof is all over your face! Your rebellious nature must be punished. If you're hungry, I have a knuckle sandwich served up right here, just like you like it! Wait! Onagase! Thanks, Hideyo! I don't care if you call yourself the school police or the handcuff knuckle or whatever. I would try not to stand out too much if I were you, Onagasi. It's not very smart. Plenty of people want to make you pay for your strict standards. You shouldn't be wasting time on someone like me. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, no! Don't bother, Onagasi. As long as you feed her, she's harmless. In some ways, she's even more uncontrollable than Madaka-chan, so... Don't worry about well, it. Well, I simply cannot accept that. Discom must uphold the... Huh? What? Uh... Oh! <laughs> Man, they're completely locked. I'm guessing this wasn't part of Sharanwi's plan. No, maybe it was. Anyway, these handcuffs won't budge even a little. These handcuffs are a specially ordered type favored by the military. You really shouldn't think of them as mere toys. Why are you bragging? Forget it. I didn't do anything wrong, so hurry up and take this thing off my hand. <laughs> Come on. As a member of DISCOM, I am bound by an unbreakable oath. In other words, I may end up with no path of retreat, so to speak. So by removing I didn't ask all for restraints a speech, beforehand, just the key. I... Let us discuss this idea of a key for a moment. What percent of objects that we believe are keys actually you end up being key, keys? Do you? I... Ugh, yes, that's right! I don't carry around that piece of junk! Are you happy? Honestly, this mere trifle is no call for panic. I guess now we know that the student council has its limits. Well, if you don't mind, then I'm okay with it. But if you're looking forward to bathing, sleeping, and going to the bathroom together, well then this is your little pervy paradise, you little freak. This is too much! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go cry! Oh, very well. In that case, come with me to Discom headquarters. I guess we have no other choice. Huh? But I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just asking you to accompany me there. They should have a key there to unlock this. Uh, okay, I see the Discom office. Ugh. Well, if it's our only choice, then take me with you. Oh, man, everyone's watching. <laughs> feel their gazes stabbing at me. I know Sharon, we mentioned something earlier, but are you being targeted? Hideyoshi-kun, have you heard of the Metalwood duo? Is that the scary teacher from the kabocha wine? That's Metal Steel. These are guys who use a wood bat and a metal bat. I took them in once, but they didn't learn their lesson. Rather, they started to hate me even more. But don't worry yourself. If they were to show up now, they wouldn't do anything to harm you. I heard they went to anger management classes. Well, that's perfect. I wouldn't want too many people seeing this pathetic sight. Huh? Huh? That, that is the last, the last person, person on, on the, the planet, planet we, we wanted, wanted to, to see! see. Uh, huh? Huh? I was concerned about the traditional discord between Stuko and the Discom. I was racking my brain trying to think of a way to put an end to that legacy. However, it seems that you were a step ahead of me. You two are quite impressive to outwit me like you. Totally that. overestimating us! You're totally off base! In that case, you ought to have said something you first. You never asked. Uh. 
Oh, that's right. Don't you know how to pick locks and crack safes, Madaka-chan? Because we could really use your help. I shouldn't be doing this in front of the school police, but this is an emergency. All righty. Hand me another pair of handcuffs, please. Observe. See how the handcuffs are positioned? Huh? This means that... Huh? This means that... This means that... <laughs> This means that this is an excellent pair of handcuffs. This just, just keeps, keeps getting, getting worse and worse. And worse. <laughs> this is really bad. Hideyoshi Kun is one thing, but if I take Kurokami san to the discom office. What's going on? What did I do to deserve being dragged around by these two? Hey, you two. Hold huh? on for just a moment. She seems to be having trouble. Huh? Let's help her. Oh, hmm. oh, oh. Oh. oh! Oh! Thank you very much. Okay, let's head to the office before anything else. Wait, Senkenchi. Someone is in trouble over there. Huh? huh? Ah! Ah! Easily distracted. Basically, Yo, she's friends, just a child. What you now? What's going on over there? Actually, now that I can sit back and watch, she really is popular. <laughs> totally different from when it was just the two of us, huh? I can't what? recall people in this school calling out to me like that since I decided to join Discom. My friends all disappear. Well, don't sweat it. The student council and the disciplinary committee have totally different responsibilities. No, that's not the case. I'm simply expressing my pity for the student council, since you must curry favor with the student body. Right. What's wrong, Madaka-chan? What do you see? Is it someone in trouble? I see someone making trouble. If you look closely, you can see them. Right over there. And over here. Come on out, I can see you. How'd you know we were here? You were right, Metal. She really is a freak. It's the Metal Wood duo! Anyway, guess the rumors were true. Onagasa Sama, the handcuff knuckle. And guess who isn't able to move or use her handcuff? <laughs> if we take out these three, our duo will be super famous, partner. That's right, brother. They're ganging up on us three against two. But we insist on fighting fairly. It's time for payback. Get behind me, you two, right away. I don't understand. Why in the world would we do something like stand behind you? Why? Because! Because meeting order is a difficult job! <laughs> That's why I don't understand. How is something like this in DISCOM's job? They aren't disrupting order. I heard metal shattering behind me, but I won't let it bother me one bit. <laughs> Don't you need to take them in? Why would I? It's just as Kurokami-san said. They never disrupted the peace. What an odd way to play baseball. She doesn't even realize that she's been attacked. You know, I had heard the stories, but she really is incredible. Another team special inside team special. Class 13. Uh, Kurokami-san? Hmm? If you can shatter a metal bat, can't you break these handcuffs? Oh. You don't care if I break them, then? <laughs> huh? Deliver something to Chairman Unzen? You want me to go to the music room? I do. We need to take care of something else before we leave today. And I don't mean to criticize, but lately you've been slacking off. Watching Chairman Unzen at work will be inspirational for you. You'll be motivated to do a better job. Yes, thank you. I very much appreciate the thought. <laughs> Stop sulking. It's for your own good. Every student at the school knows this, about the chosen of the chosen, the elite of the elite, the extraordinary of the extraordinary, the inhuman of the inhuman. A group of superhumans who can work magic. 
a class of honor students who receive all manner of preferential treatment and who are not even required to attend classes. Sandbox Academy's Class 13. Last year, at age nine, Chairman Unzen was selected as a member of Class 13. This school has never seen the likes of that monster child. The justice he upholds embodies the disciplinary committee. <laughs> Princess! It's been a while! That outfit you have is styling just like a drumbeat! Oh, I haven't seen you in a while, Sharanwi. You see, there are suggestion box requests. Today, we will be addressing some complaints. The music room soundproofing is starting to wear out. We have multiple students upset about the sound level generated by the orchestra and the effects on their studies. Oh, that's what you mean. I heard a little something about that. When anyone complains, the leader sidesteps the issue. A true politician in training. Well done. So, what will the student council do? First, we'll try reinforcing the soundproofing as much as possible. Beyond that, we can try adjusting their practice schedule. Hi. Okay. Well, I'm sure you won't let yourself get fooled. But, uh, but you're alone today. Oh, heavens no. The crack team of the student council is on it, handling all other requests. I'm happy they can handle it without me. I have to say, those three are quite reliable. <laughs> Excusez-moi, the one-woman student council is a relic of the past. Although, I'm certainly interested to see who your final member will be. I mean, in this school, your options are, well, you know. Who will take the position of vice president? Well, Sharanwi, I would prefer if that position were filled by someone like you. Someone a lot like you. You should know that I can't stand joining groups or organizations. I'm not a herd mentality type, more individual. And you should also know that I hate you, and I'm well aware that you hate me. That's fine. No, that's exactly what I want. The current members like me too much. That is why I require a student council vice president who will stand against me. Someone like you. I may be a merciless tyrant, but I've no intention of becoming a dictator. Uh. <laughs> what the? Kurokami san and Shiran we say! Oh, the exhibitionist! Where are you going with that towel? Oh, if it isn't Onagase the same year. Imagine seeing you. This is horrible! The last two people I wanted to see! I'd love to stay and talk, but I'm on my way to the music room, excuse me. She's dressed inappropriately again. And she's eating something again. To the music room, eh? Okay. Listen up, you losers. Turn to your neighbor, say hi, and then kill him. No, that isn't it. Wait a minute, that's not what I meant to say. God, I hate public speaking. Why can't I just send an email? Why am I so hostile? I gotta cut down on the monsters. Okay, then let's try again, orchestra. Hello there. I'm Disciplinary Committee Chairman Unzen Miori. As you can probably guess, I'm here today to lay down the law. The clubs in this area have been whining that you're distracting them with all of the noise. So I must punish you all accordingly. And just in case there's any doubt, I'm looking very forward to it. Hey! Who is this kid? Someone's younger brother? No, leader. He's telling the truth. He's the team's special discom chairman who skipped a bunch of grades. And he's a 13. 13? Seriously? I thought the student council prez was the only 13 who bothered coming to school. We're in trouble, leader. If the disciplinary committee has us in their sights, we're finished. They're gonna wipe Calm us out. Calm down. He's just a little kid. What's he gonna do to us? I'll use my golden tongue like I always do to persuade him to leave us alone. Hey, Unzen Kuhn. Hmm? An orchestra is meant to produce a lot of sound. You know, we're not supposed to be, like, quiet. Therefore, we're bound to be a bit of a nuisance to people around us. You can understand, right? I promise we'll try to be more careful, and then maybe you can go a little easy on us, yeah? I've enjoyed our little talk, too. Hmm. Hey, you there! You had some candy, right? I know of a little boy who's been good enough for a piece of candy. Ah! Ah! What? I never gave you permission to touch me, fool. Also, 
Excuses and bribes won't work when you're dealing with a disciplinary committee. <laughs> Idiot. You people were sentenced to death the moment I entered this room. I'm gonna slaughter the lot of you, so try to die as fast as you can! Oh, it's Onigashi-chan. Huh? <laughs> you brought me a towel. How very kind of you. Uh, you're welcome. Wait, what? What is this? <laughs> the board granted the disciplinary committee permission to use weapons. But what kind of weapon could do this? This whole room is practically destroyed. Man, I really am hopeless. I always know I'm going to get blood all over myself, but I always forget a towel. So, Kurakami Madaka, why are you gracing me with your presence? Up close, your boobs are gigantic. I like it. Ever entertained any thoughts of becoming my woman? It appears that you and I must be here on the same job. It's unfortunate that our first conversation had to be under such circumstances, in the second year. I can easily guess what took place here, but you've clearly gone overboard. <laughs> Was it necessary to go to such extreme? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about anything. I contacted the school nurse beforehand. That isn't the issue here. <laughs> And by looking at your stupid outfit, I can guess what your plan was. Surprise, it'll fail. You wanted to resolve this through peaceful measures, right? You thought you could make them understand or hear out their circumstances. How naive of you! Who cares about their circumstances? Rule breakers should be punished. If you go easy on them, they'll think explaining their circumstances will get them forgiven. And then the same thing will only happen again. I can't believe you, of all people, haven't noticed this trend. It's not justice if you don't go overboard. That's my school policy. Yes. I joined the disciplinary committee because I agreed with that policy. But this is... Too overboard! Princess, come here. I probably don't mean to tell you, but this kid is dangerous. Though since he's in class 13 with you, that should be obvious. Ever since he took charge, the disciplinary committee has become more violent. These guys will cut ya! Real menace to society types. You picking up what I'm putting down, sister? Hey, air boobs. Who you calling air boobs? Don't make up stories about us. The disciplinary committee is a peace-loving group devoted to the pursuit of justice and fairness. Our only goal is to correct that which is wrong in this world. We simply use violence and arms as a means to that end. And Kurakami, if you thought I intended to make enemies of you or the student council, I commend your insight. Projectiles? A long weapon? A whip? I didn't see a thing. And how did he attack from above when he is the shorter one? Oh, that's strange. I was merely saying hello. I toned down my attack so you'd have a chance to dodge. So you can see how kind I can be. There is no reason for me to be attacked by you. Thus, there is no reason for me to dodge. That's funny. I didn't know you were so comedic. You'll learn my respect if you can say that again. And dodge this! came from below, and it was so much faster. <laughs> there is no reason for me to be attacked by you. Thus, there is no reason for me to dodge. I've said it. Now show me some respect. Now that's very impressive. I don't believe it. You truly are a monster, Kurakami Madaka. Magnificent. But stop this, Chairman! Kurakami-san is right! We have no reason to fight the student council! They're our friends! There is a reason, Onigase-chan. In every age, saints have been oppressed in the name of justice. Don't joke around! As a DISCOM member, I can't allow you to keep using violence! <laughs> Challenging me takes a lot of guts. I like that about you, Onigase-chan. But I really do have a reason. <laughs> 
We may have met here by chance, but this meeting spelled your doom. Justice and saints will never mix, so one of them has to be crushed, and I'm the one to do it! Kurakami? I believe your style is known as the pretentious appeal to innate goodness. My style is the condescending acceptance of innate evil. While you're trying to raise flowers, I seek to destroy them, petal by petal, and uproot them! It would certainly seem that we adhere to different ideals. However, we can talk through our differences. There is no reason for us to fight. <laughs> you don't know when to get off your high horse, Kurakami. I hate to tell you, but it's far too late for that now. Because I've already dispatched three assassins to deal with the student council. <gasps> this is the most effective way to handle someone as saintly as you. Can you still say the same thing one more time? If you can, I'll respect you to death! <sighs> Good grief. Huh? That was a foolish thing to do. Shiranwi, I'll let you handle this. Yo, what? I'm going to take care of this mess myself, so I need your help. So... <laughs> What? Where do you think you're going, Kurokami? Do you want to save your buddy? You'll never make it in time. It's wasted effort, and you're just a fool. He's using projectiles, but they're following bizarre trajectories. What is the chairman throwing? Huh? What the... It's true that I can't make it in time, but this is not a wasted effort. People are trying to harm others. Ignoring that would be the wasted effort. What, what was that? A girl with long hair ran by so fast she left after images. Wasn't that the student council press? Oh, well, <laughs> that's normal then. Totally normal. What? What's that freak supposed to be? Some sort of Koga ninja? What's this about, air boobs? Well, I would normally prefer not to get involved, but when the powers that be ask for my help, who am I to say no? Huh? Powers that be? What's that supposed to mean? You think you can stop me? I sure do! You bet I do! After all, Chairman, you can't do anything to a student who has broken no rules, right? Am I right or am I right? Onigashi-chan, this is the Shiranwe girl you mentioned, right? Was she eating anything in the hallway? She was. Well, was she? No, she wasn't. <sighs> okay, I guess that little cowlick is off the hook then. Well, that gives me time for my favorite show. I'll just watch the show from here while that freak struggles in vain. I'm a machine of justice, the disciplinary committee guillotine. I neither think nor feel. I do not feel joy or fear. I rip everything apart until my job is complete. <laughs> Another perfect job by me. I couldn't be more proud of my handiwork. <laughs> Kurakami Lariat! I must confess I approve your choice of claws as a weapon, but those aren't meant for use on young girls or ladies. A strong warrior knows when to sheath his blade. Hmm? Ah, this is scary! Hey, don't make so much noise. We'll miss our landing. <laughs> huh? Uh, it won't matter where we land! Oh, oh. Hey, dude, what was that? A meteor or something? A girl just dropped out of the sky with someone else onto the high jump mat. How is that even possible? The student council pre- Where did she come from? I know, right? You see, if I landed over here, I knew you would be here, Isahaya the third year. Now, lend me your running spikes, if you please. I ran harder than I have in a long time, so my shoes fell apart. Uh, oh, good, you've been a big help. What was that about, Isahaya senpai hmm? Well, I'd say that was normal for her. Second floor. No, I need to make it up to the third floor. 
That should save me 20 seconds. With these claws and spikes, I can make it! Kurakami Climb! Well, my goodness, my momentum carried me to the fifth floor. That actually cost me time, darn it! Hey, man, did you guys just happen to see a girl with claws and spikes just fall out the window that faces the tracker, or am I just going crazy? I don't know, man. It kind of looked like the student council press to me. Oh, so you're saying that's just normal for her, then? Perfectly normal. Yeah, normal. Seriously, Chairman Hudson, he may appear reckless, but he's actually quite cautious. I could eliminate the student council by myself. Doesn't matter if they have a prince or a freak girl. Nothing scares me. I've got smarts, good looks, and innate evil. No matter. <laughs> Crush, destroy, break, shatter. That is our justice. <laughs> Assemble my killer bicycle technique, Akune Koki! It appears that none of the disciplinary committee members know how to use these things properly. You're supposed to ride a bicycle, not lift it over your head. Like this! <laughs> Scary! I heard about a girl with claws and spikes going 80 kilometers per hour on a bicycle, and now I saw her! Jesus! Holy smoke, so it must have been the student council president! That's normal, then. I was worried because I thought it might not be her, but everything's cool. And everything is perfectly normal. Our version of normal, I mean. <laughs> what is that pose meant to represent? Statue of Liberty, maybe? Yes, this is going well. At this rate, I should make it in time. <gasps> Sorry! You can't pass, freak girl! I was sent by Vice Chairman Yobuko Senpai. Be grateful that we've given you an excuse to concede. Go back to the student council office and drink your tea before it gets cold. Ah, I do appreciate the concern, but it's dangerous. I haven't yet finished my fight, and I never waste effort. During my life, I've never given up on anything. This may be difficult, impossible even, but I decided that I would do my best. So here it is! Kuratami! What's up with you, Yokubu senpai Oh, it's nothing. I was just communicating with one of the younger members. Anyway, I'm sorry about asking you to carry this for me. But you're so strong, and I'm just a woman. Nah, it's okay. I happen to be finishing up my work here anyway. And I'm used to being ordered around. <laughs> you must have a hard time. You're in the same boat, right? I've heard you have a lot to deal with. I can't imagine. Oh, how embarrassing. Is that what everyone says? But yes, it's true. I've let Chairman Unzen set me on people. Again and again. 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 Again and again and again. To string them up and again! On foot and bike and by infiltration. There's even a tape to mark the finish line. That was an excellent Iron Man triathlon. However, it appears that I arrived just in the nick of time. M Madaka John. I really did. A good job. This girl isn't normal. What? Mission failed? Who failed? All of them? Yes, I have no excuse. 
I was able to get in touch with Yoshinagari and Kunasaki, but including backup, you need to know that all 44 disciplinary committee vanguard members, every one of them was vanquished by Kurakami Madaka in an instant. <laughs> That's impressive. The freak actually arrived in time. How big a freak does she need to be before her desires are completely satisfied? Mm. No. Fall back, Yubuko. Kurakami Madaka bites back when bitten. We managed to learn that she's not a total pacifist. That's not it, Chairman. She may not be a pacifist, but something peculiar happened. Something I've never seen before. Huh? What's that? Yobuko Senpai, don't get the wrong idea. Madaka-chan wasn't trying to save us. If you want to know the real story, she was actually saving you guys. <gasps> Yobuko Senpai, don't get the wrong idea. Madaka-chan wasn't trying to save us. If you want to know the real story, she was actually trying to save you guys. <gasps> What, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Me? I'm talking about survival. Kakaijima is just a quiet girl. But she has a couple of dangerous guys who care for her, like a daughter. Not a single soul has laid a hand on Kakaijima and lived to tell about her. Akane Senpai is every bit as dangerous. With the darkness you can't even see. I guess Nabashima Senpai helped rein him in, tamed him, if you will. Back in middle school, his hobby was ruining people's lives. And while I might not be able to hold a candle to those two, I'm one hell of a dangerous guy, young lady. I am the watchdog who will show absolutely no mercy to any enemy of Madaka-chan. They could be a senior, teacher, or anyone else in the school. Had any of these crazy chains even brushed my clothing, you wouldn't be standing now. Whom did she save? Whom did she protect? You should think hard about that one. I realized that he was probably bluffing for the most part. He would not have been defeated by them. Yes, Chairman, if Kurakami had not interfered, we would have completed our missions just as we were ordered to. However, win or lose, the fact remains that we would have sustained injuries in the process and would have definitely lost valuable soldiers. Someone is going to get hurt. Someone is... Yet when the dust has settled, no disciplinary committee members were harmed by Kurakami. Although a few were traumatized by the experience. Isn't the Kurakami lariat just My a normal bicycle lariat? Gun. I must conclude that Kurakami Madaka does not follow the practice of biting back when bitten. I believe she wanted to avoid conflict to ensure there would be neither student council nor disciplinary committee casualties. I'm telling you, Chairman, we cannot afford to have- oh! Chairman Unzen? No. I broke my beloved smartphone. And I just switched to a new model. Who's going to take responsibility for this? She wasn't trying to save her buddies. She was trying to save both friend and foe. What's up with that? Why does she act so saintly? Does she think she's a god? Had she merely been a hypocrite, the plan was to toy with her for a while and then let her join our ranks. But if she's truly some kind of psycho saint, I'll kill her as though this were just a game. <laughs> I see. There was indeed a problem with the soundproofing. Given that the weak kick of a little kid sufficed to open a big hole in a wall for a music room. Right, Onagasi-chan? Uh, uh, yes. Hey, air boobs. I'm going to use this exit here. Will you try to stop me? I was only assigned to guard this exit. That's all I'm doing. That one's beyond my jurisdiction. No authority here. Is that so? Nice bureaucratic approach. Onigasu-chan, uh, I need you to convey a message for me. Huh? Go and tell every disciplinary committee member they are to go home and concoct an alibi. An airtight, unquestionable story should anyone think anything suspicious happened here. Because from here on out till it's over, Unsin Miori's waging a one-man war. Huh? 
What is this ball supposed to be? Nay, this is no ordinary ball. It is an extraordinary ball. In other words, a super ball. <laughs> hey, don't give me that look. This is quite serious. Allow me to explain. The strange technique employed by disciplinary committee chairman Unsen the second year. Oh, those projectiles of unknown identity that seemed to move like they were disobeying laws of gravity? Yes. The weapon he's using is, in fact, the Super Ball. Huh? huh? The chairman's weapon is a Super Ball? That's crazy! Yes. I'm almost certain of it. Do not underestimate the Super Ball. It has an amazing amount of elasticity and ability to rebound. <laughs> a little flick sends it rebounding off all the walls. Right? Don't give me that! Huh? Well, that was certainly most impressive. I've been using this technique for over a year, but you seem to be the first one to figure it out, Kurakami. Uh. Huh? But of course, ordinary Super Balls wouldn't be enough for the likes of you. So I've made a few minor modifications to the material composition to optimize them for use as a weapon. <laughs> but once that secret is out, it's no more than a childish trick. Like a magic trick. <gasps> this is disciplinary committee chairman Unzi Miori, the team special member who skipped a bunch of grades. Plus, he's in class 13. After I bluff the hell out of Yobuko Senpai, the boss strolls right into our territory? This guy moves as fast as Madaka-chan. Who is this snotty little kid? He isn't cute at all. I want him out of here. You're the one with the money! Buy a clue! You didn't come to reveal the secret behind your trick. What do you want, Unzen the second year? Do I need a reason to visit? That's cold-hearted, man. So mean, you're gonna make me cry. We may be in different grades, but we're both members of Class 13. Why can't we just be friends, Kurakami the first year? Since we're both beasts, both monsters, we're both alike, cut from the same cloth. Yeah, from the moment you arrived at this school, I always thought of you as my mirror image. Only I'm prettier. However, that would mean I am your reverse. You bet. You and I are too similar to get along. You know how brothers always torment sisters. I hear that you love humans, Kurakami Madaka. And you were born to help others. You are a genuine good Samaritan. So, by being a good guy, you've been able to save and reform many people? <laughs> That's amazing. Really wonderful. But Kurakami, you're nothing but a cheat. You only take notice of people's good sides. If you claim to truly love these humans, their lies and betrayal, their sins and ugliness, their jealousy and immaturity, their hatred and conflicts, it's cheating to say that you love humans but ignore their flaws. Pride, envy, gluttony, wrath, greed, lust, and sloth. All these qualities exist in everyone. If you claim to be an accepting person, you shouldn't brainwash people into acting the way you want! It's like playing concentration with all the cards facing up. I'm sure you enjoy winning all the time, but it's no fun for those you drag into it. I fight evil for the sake of justice, but I've never felt that justice was somehow innately better. Rules exist to keep humans on a leash, but I've never believed they could change who people are. As I'm sure you've deduced, I hate humans. And I hate everything about them. Kindness and friendship, love and selflessness. I also hate duty, and I hate peace! That's why I can uphold justice without bias and not be concerned with feelings! Hey, Hideyoshi! I bet you understand what I'm saying. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. What's with him? Why would he come here and start giving a speech? I doubt he expects to convince Madaka-chan with words. It's almost 
like he's trying to buy time. Let's discuss your pretentious appeal to innate goodness. Your whole saint act is pretty cruel. People who don't adopt your ideals are considered unfit. Everyone knows you're amazing. But you can't expect everyone else to be as amazing. All you can expect is for everyone to follow the rules in place. It appears that you are mistaken about two things, Unzen the Second Year. First, this pretentious appeal to innate goodness is something Zenkichi came up with on his own. No need to give me credit for sainthood. Second... <gasps> Get away, everyone! These aren't Super Balls! They're explosives! <gasps> Oh, you figured it out! I really suck at this. I'm so bad at magic tricks. But it's too late. My preparations are more or less finished. If you're a Koga ninja, I'm a shinobi from the Hidden Valley of Iga. IED Cinderella. This is my real weapon. One is enough to blow away a rotting wall. Just imagine what more than one could do. If that detonates in this small room, you won't survive either, you horrible, evil little troll! That's right! Enough of your childish threats! You've gone way too far for a mere prank, I'm afraid. Do you people not watch the news? Not paying any attention? How lame what you kids are spending your time with these days when you have so few. What will you do, Kurakami? Will you try to reform me now? Or will you beg me to stop it? Please stop! What's wrong, Hyuga? I don't know. I, I just... I could have sworn I heard some kind of explosion or something over there. That's where the student council office is, right? The student council president probably did something again. Hey, there's smoke. Right. That's probably all it was. <laughs> <laughs> Business as usual, everything's normal here! <sighs> the Disciplinary Committee Special Uniform, White Tiger. AKA White Snow. A product of cutting edge science, made from pressure resistant fabric that would keep me unharmed even if a dump truck were to hit me. It's made from materials used for deep sea submersibles, so its weight makes it hard to move. Anyway, the damage wasn't as extensive as I expected. I never planned to take out the entire building, but I figured a good chunk would be gone. Dud? No. I've been maintaining them. A dud's impossible. Then... Please stop! Oh, I see. Ah! She used water from a nearby vase to drench some of the explosives before ignition. And it appears the window was already broken before the heat could melt it. She must have kicked out several of the bombs before they could blow. She's pretty clever. That girl is slick to boot. I'm impressed that she could do that much on a snap decision. But it didn't make a difference in the... <gasps> what? They're all unharmed? Well... If they were hurt, this isn't funny. I risk my life to pull this off. Kurakami, what did you do? Something quite simple. The shockwave, not the heat, is the most dangerous part of any explosion. So I rolled those three into a rug. 
Although I had to stay outside. In what way was that simple? How much did she get done during that instant? And stayed outside? Doesn't that mean she took the full brunt of the detonation? That demolished an entire room! This freak woman can't be sane. With her abilities, she could have easily saved herself. <laughs> Man, you're such a saint! It's getting nauseating! I must admire how stubbornly you cling to your ideals. <laughs> so let me guess! Next, you'll say we have no reason to fight and that we should all just get along! Neither your friends nor I end up hurt. All's well that ends well. And we all live happily ever after, right? Shut up! <laughs> Pathetic. I'm sure that once you were a kind, innocent boy who believed in human goodness. You weren't born this way. Something must have happened to you once. To transform you, change you into such a cruel and heartless little monster. However, having said that, I will not forgive you! <laughs> I was actually scared for a moment. All it took was one look, one glare, for me to step back unconsciously. Oons in the second year. You're absolutely right. You and I are very much alike. I have never considered myself as always being in the right, either. I continuously wonder if there is a better way. If I'm actually healthy. If I've considered all the possible scenarios. If I've forgotten someone who is suffering. If I'm letting myself go with the flow. If I've gotten too used to helping others. I'm always worried. I'm always frightened. I am not in the right. I simply try my best to be in the right. I don't get what you're saying to me. Isn't that the same thing? You do not understand? I'm saying that I do not follow any of those grand ideals you speak of. At the very least, I hold to no ideals that would cause me to put my friends in harm's way. You don't like my saintly act? Un's in the second year. I'll let you have your way. Prepare for disappointment. When you discover that I am a worthless human being who allows rage to consume her! Hideyoshi-kun, how long has it been since Madaka-san last transformed into this state? Not since the summer we were middle school first years. That would make it three years. Three terrifying years. I see. That's right. Back then I thought that Madaka-san was a perfect idealist. This is Kurakami Madaka's forte number four. War God mode! Once she's reached this point, I can no longer stop her. Unzen, you're finished! What? <laughs> Don't try to end things for me, you fool! Lost spirit or evil demon, all will be ash before a volcano! <laughs> you unharmed even if you're hit by a dump truck? Well, well, well! I'm glad to hear that. 
That means you have the power to survive three of my attacks. Even if I use my full strength! Kurakami Madaka's forte number four, War God Mode! You haven't taken that much damage, but I recommend you pretend that you can no longer stand. At this point, I may still be able to forgive you. <laughs> you must be joking. That didn't even tickle. No damage, fool. Is this for real, though? This uniform's material absorbs shock as well as rubber. This girl is a monster. I see. So you would still choose the path of conflict? I feel the same way. Then allow me to give you a warning before I completely lose control. <laughs> I have mastered many different martial arts. But you should know that I still shall not use any of them against you. Because each martial art is a respectable product of human technique. Techniques that should never be used in anger. Therefore, I shall surrender to anger and use raw violence like an animal rather than a human. And I will beat you to death! Phew. What on earth are you talking about? You think you can scare me with your empty threats? You're about to be beaten in your own fight! But it was a mistake to let her draw me outside. My weapons work best indoors. Outside, they aren't as effective or efficient. I suppose I could apologize for now, and return after I've made sufficient preparations. But that's out of the question. Because the disciplinary committee's reputation is resting on me. <laughs> the disciplinary committee is justice. That gives me every right to discipline you. Very well. If you plan to fight like an animal, I will fight like a human. Like the humans you love so very much. And like the humans I hate. And I'd like to return the favor. Your very helpful warning should receive a helpful warning of my own. Kurakami Madaka, it doesn't matter if you're right or not. Justice will always triumph! This is the first step. Kurakami Madaka's cannonball punch hits as hard as a dump truck. But I'll take it! It doesn't matter if you're a villain or even a demon. As long as you're also human, you'll be accepted by Kurakami Madaka. There was but one exception to this rule. The man's name was Kumagawa, and he was neither demon nor villain. He was as pure as a clear river. However, he possessed every negative human quality. Negative. He could never win against anyone. A born loser. That was why he was stronger than anyone else. Hurting other people with every breath and wreaking havoc for breakfast. Like a demon, he orchestrated a serious attempt to eradicate the entire human race, including himself. A life of absolute failure, culminating in ridiculous destruction. While Kumagawa attacked everything around him to incredible effect, Madaka-chan continued to reach out to him. In the end, Madaka-chan used force to remove Kumagawa from our school. She is ashamed that she failed to reform Kumagawa, and many people were frightened by her violent display. But honestly, I was glad to see that Madaka-chan could feel anger like the rest of us. Kurakami Madaka can. 
She can be as benevolent as a god for the sake of strangers, but she can be as cruel as a devil for the sake of her friends. Madaka-chan! I apologize for involving you in my ideals. Return your armbands later. I'll do the rest myself. Madaka! Ah! Ah! Crap. I shouldn't be wasting time explaining her fortes. At this rate, Madaka-chan's going to take off to some distant place. So your plan is to draw me inside the main school building? A cunning scheme from such a less than clever boy. Is that the best you can do, Unzen the second year? Show some respect. I've survived Sandbox Academy's Class 13 for over a year. Nothing scares me. I have far more experience than a girl who's only been around a few months. I've had plenty of classmates who were experts on your level. You deserve what you're about to get. Think you can dodge this? Go ahead and try! A barrage of attacks from every direction? It would be difficult to dodge them all. But the pain is bearable if I'm prepared! I can take your attacks the way you took my puns! My ideals against your justice! This is the end, Uns, in the second year! Yeah, you bet your big boobs it is. You lose. Kurosami Madaka! <laughs> Surprised that you suddenly can't move? <laughs> Never thought I'd see that expression on your face. Oh, I wasn't using super balls or explosive balls. This is my last trump card. The string ball. Granted, it's a last resort that can only be used once. Naturally, I didn't use ordinary string. It's called Ariadne. This string is made from the same material as the special uniform, Snow White. A single thread of this cutting-edge technology can support five tons. And while each is so thin that you can barely see it, your body is entangled in hundreds of threads. This is my special fouling net. See it? Hear it? Feel it? This is the power of human ingenuity, you animal! But now I'm completely out of tricks. After taking three hits, Snow White is about to give. I barely squeaked out a victory. You used invisible <laughs> string to bind my body and restrict my movements. I would expect no less from you, Disciplinary Committee Chairman. <laughs> yep, you're absolutely right. This is my style. This is my justice. I restrain with rules before penalizing. Even a wild, reckless filly like you, when she's all tied up, can be quite pretty. You know, up this close, your boobs are gigantic. <laughs> I'll repeat this once for you again. It doesn't matter if you're right or not. Justice will always triumph! Will it really? Then I shall have to repeat myself. A cunning scheme, is that the best you can do? You little... Human ingenuity and technology... <coughs> are capable of far more. <coughs> what are you doing? String that thin and strong is as sharp as a knife! Are you trying to tear yourself apart? You can never use string to tie me down! You can never use a net to hold me down! I have already been torn apart! Unza Miore! You have torn apart my heart! Is <laughs> she supposed to be an idealist? A pacifist? She's completely resorting to brute force! She's no animal! This girl is a monster through and through! I guess a monster can never conceal its true colors! She's not afraid to let them show! What is this? What's going on? Your string may be incredibly strong, 
but the same cannot be felt of the building to which the string is attached. You weren't able to completely restrict my movement. Huh? That's absurd and impossible because you're carrying the entire building with you! I am the student council president. I'm supposed to be able to move this school either by my ideals or my brute force alone. I got you all wrong! You definitely aren't a saint. You're just... a damn monster! What's that? What's going on? This should be obvious. Madaka-chan is angry. That is Kurakami Madaka. Take away her personality, and you're left with raw power. She's like a swirling destructive force. A tempest that leaves nothing but rubble in her wake. Kakaijima! Akane-senpai! If you want to back out, this is probably your last chance. If you stay with Madaka-chan, things like this will continue to happen. If you don't want any more of this trouble, then like she said, it's time to quit student council. <gasps> my defense is broken down, and my attacks don't work. My last resort had no effect. It's pathetic, but I have no super balls or any balls left. However, Kurakami, having said that, I still haven't lost. Do you know why? Because you couldn't change my mind. You weren't able to reform me. That counts as defeat in your mind, not in mine. You were certainly stronger than I, apparently. But that's all. It meant nothing more. It didn't make you right or better. Don't think it does. You had beaten me in every respect, but I didn't break! That's right, I'm still here! I'll be the exact same person tomorrow as I am today! I hate humans! I see. I love humans. There is no need to reform you. Since you won't live to see tomorrow! <laughs> you love humans, huh? That's pretty ironic. Considering you're barely human yourself. Honestly, it looks to me like you feel rather restricted. It's like you're surviving by imitating humans. When you say that you love humans, when you say that you were born to help others, it's almost like you're pleading with humans not to shun you. You're no saint. You're a lonely soul with too much power. However, that will never work. You won't be able to survive that way. Did you say something? Nope. I'm just a ten-year-old kid. But I've had more life experience than you, human lover. But I know your true colors. So I can tell that you'll give up on humanity soon enough. I'm worried that you're too sensitive to bear the pain. They'll break your heart, you know. I don't need your concern. I will never give up on humans. Oh, really? Then excuse me. I'm sure you don't need my concern. But Kurakami, I make it a habit to look after underclassmen. So I'm going to reform you. Okay then. Finish me off. 
Go ahead and just eliminate me to protect your precious humans. I will! Go ahead. But eventually, you'll remember. I, the person you squashed, was also human. I'm still a human being. When you're disposing of humans to protect humans, you're no better than I am. Crush me! Become me! Then once you've given in to despair, you will be ready to carry on my overboard justice! It's not justice if you don't go overboard! You've already gone overboard. Let me go, everyone. Do you want to be a part of this? Yes, we do. We want you to let us be part of this. Don't let it end. You can say what you want. We won't quit. Not the student council or you. Madaka-chan, we'll never leave you alone again. We'll be with you forever. Unzen the second year. Would you like to join the student council? <laughs> what? I've always wanted a vice president who would be willing to oppose me and not back down. Shiranwi refused my offer to enlist. But on second thought, you would make a perfect candidate given the fight you put up. Uh, you switched modes. No, she changed back. This is the normal Madaka Chan. Don't be so stupid! I'm the disciplinary committee chairman! Don't assume you can befriend everyone, you fool! You dumbass! Really? That's unfortunate. I'm disappointed. I believe I can always become friends with everyone. Looks like I went overboard this time. I'm terribly sorry, Unzen the second year. <coughs> it was my fault. You helped me recognize my shortcomings. I hope that you'll continue to offer your assistance to raise the bar. Wait! Madaka-san, where are you going? The hospital, of course. I have a few broken bones. What? what? And a few organs are pretty battered. What? what? After losing complete control, she managed to snap out of it in an instant. As if nothing happened. It is impossible to pull yourself together from that kind of mental breakdown. Which means that someone else brought her out of it. That would have to be... If I was going to be totally honest with you, Unzen Senpai, I'd have to say that I don't think what you said was all wrong. I'm no model citizen, believe me. I'm neither saint nor demon. I think that you're almost too right like Madaka-chan is. So to me, it just comes down to personal preference. And I like Madaka-chan more than I like you. Chairman Unzen, are you okay? I told you to go home, fools! Under the circumstances, how could we? And what happened here? Where's Kurokami-san? What happened to the student council members? Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. Huh? I've decided to exclude the student council from our supervision. They're just a gathering of real good buddies. I'm going to forgive their uniform modifications. <sighs> but you... You need to shape up and get wise. I won't be in any shape to fight for a while. Once it hears the disciplinary committee chair is out of action, the school will erupt. Uh, Understand that Sandbox Academy's peace rests on your shoulders. Yes, yes sir. sir! Good. I like that response. But seriously, I'm worried about Kurakami Madaka. 
I'm guessing she had no idea what removing me would mean. Wunzen Kuhn will be out of action for a while. That won't do. We cannot lose any one of the 13 party's members at this delicate juncture. At this rate, my plan is going to fall apart before it even begins. What course of action do you recommend, Sodichan? Nothing at all. You don't need to worry, Grandpa. Everything's going just fine. Or rather, should I address you as Sandbox Academy Director Commander Shiranui Hakama? When in trouble, remember you should immediately turn <laughs> to the suggestion box. <laughs> Madaka-chan managed to eke out a victory against Disciplinary Committee Chair Unzen Miori, but in the process, she took more damage than she ever had before. Afterwards, she went to the hospital, where she was eventually admitted. Madaka-chan's perfect attendance record, no absences, no tardies, never having left early. A rarity among students of Class 13 came to an unfortunate end, and thus, this is the first day of student council without Kurakami Madaka. Hideyoshi. How are those documents for next month's budget coming along? Should I be concerned? Oh, sorry. I'm running a bit behind. I had a little spat with the sports alliance this morning. I can step in for you. If you're having trouble with the sports teams, that is. Nabashima Senpai quit the team, but she still wields considerable influence. Peace, Peace and quiet. quiet. What is this? Nothing is happening here. It's almost like Madaka-san was the cause of all the trouble we've been experiencing. Don't you two see it? This is what they call the detective paradox. Do great detectives appear when a case arises? Or do cases occur where great detectives already are? Well, what do we do? Should we try to make some trouble to see if we can determine which it is? No, we shouldn't make trouble for the sake of trouble. We shouldn't do anything as silly as the anime industry's making media franchises just for the sake of making media franchises. He's, He's right. right! Never do anything as silly as the anime industry's media franchises made for the sake of making media franchises. Well, I was kind of exaggerating with the detective paradox. But the fact remains that Madaka-chan is one heck of a troublemaker. She just doesn't know how to keep still. Hmm. What? What's wrong? What did I say? Well, I do think you have a point. But with regard to Kurakami-san, I don't feel the word troublemaker suits her very well. It doesn't fit for me. Kurakami-san doesn't cause trouble exactly. To me, it's more like digging up the seeds of trouble. Well, I don't know. I don't think that's necessarily right either. It's more like she diligently provides the seeds with water and fertilizer to cultivate them. She's like the wind that stirs up waves on a complacent sea. Come on now. You're making her sound even worse. Listen to yourself. She helps cultivate the seeds of trouble? In the end, you're still saying that all of this is Madaka-san's fault. That wasn't my point. It may be Kurakami-san's fault, but not in a bad way. The situation itself was bad from the start. Huh? At least, that's how it was with me. I don't know if I'm a good example, per se. No one knows what would have happened had... if... if those seeds long dormant inside us were ignored, never been touched by man. I shudder to think what's been... left and touched deep inside. But Kurokami-san cultivated those seeds, helping them to bloom. Wasn't it the same for you, Akune-san? Yes. Madaka-san certainly makes a habit of it. That is simply who she is. That is why we're here with her, because we want to be with her. And that's the reason. We all care for her. Ha! <laughs> I was forced to join the student council against my will. Huh? I don't particularly want to be with her all that much. 
I'm only with her because I don't have a choice in the matter. <laughs> there you go again, you insect. You're still saying that even after the fight with Unzikun? Honestly, if you don't cut that out, you'll end up getting burned. And I'll be the one to burn you. What are you smiling at? <laughs> Nonsense. How will I get burned? How's that even possible? <laughs> I know! Hmm? Huh? Hideyoshi, why don't you check the suggestion box? You haven't checked today, right? There might be a seed of trouble inside you'll never know unless you look, so come on! Look, look, you look! You shouldn't call suggestions seeds of trouble, Kakaijima. Besides, we just had a big incident. We don't know whether there will be any actual submissions or not. There was one. Just sign. I imagine she's disappointed because Madaka-san isn't here. We can't let that break us no matter what we do! Uh, wait. Mochibaro-senpai, huh? why are you holding your head? Oh, sorry. Pay no attention to this. I'm scared that if I don't support it, my head will roll off my shoulders. Really? Is that so? Your submission only mentions that you require assistance. What exactly do you need, Sasa-san? The Shogi Club President? Sorry, I didn't see that before. Is that right? Yes. Yes, you're right, Koki-kun. The Shogi Club just underwent a transition, so it looks like I'm the president whether I want to or not. Go figure. Hmm. Say, Saucy-san, if you're uncomfortable, why not come back another day? Madaka-san is having some tests at the hospital just to be safe. If no problems are found, she should return in a day or two. You can talk to her then to be reassured. It's okay. I guess it is. In fact, I'd say it's rather appropriate considering. You see, my concern is that I need help finding something. I'd like you to help me find a Shoki piece that was lost within the club room. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in the room, and the lost piece belongs in here. I don't understand how it could just vanish like that. We take good care of these games. Oh, and when I said it belongs in here, I didn't just mean this room, I meant here. Wow! These pieces are real boxwood! Boxwood? What's that? Is that expensive? Expensive doesn't huh? even begin to describe it! This is worth at least 100,000 yen! No judging by the quality of the pieces, these were made by a true master! So oh, there my bad, Kajima! I shouldn't have much. asked you a question Don't about money! Okay! Uh. Well, these pieces are certainly valuable. They've belonged to the Shogi Club for a very long time. So it would be terrible if a piece were lost. Uh, please help me find it before our advisor finds out. I'll be in so much trouble if it's gone. By the way, sasa son can you tell us which piece disappeared exactly? Huh? Uh, king. The king. Given the state of this room, it's only logical that something would go missing. This place is disgusting. And it just so happens that the king was lost. Who does things like this? How could you lose the centerpiece of your set? I'm getting tense. Well, now I understand why Mochibaro Senpai thought it was appropriate. Because of Kurokami-san's absence, the student council is like a shoki board without kings. Madaka-chan is the king? Not a rook? You could also say that her single-mindedness makes her like a lance. Not really. Madaka-san must be the king in the game. And the only piece on the entire board that can move in every direction at will. Although, I'd have to say she certainly wouldn't be able to stay within a cage. Oh, come on, we all know she's the type to barge into enemy territory alone. I could even see Madaka-chan as king putting the enemy king in Is check. Is that actually possible? Not exactly, but it's not impossible per se. I would say it's a bit less common than a draw by repetition, however. But it's pretty scary, because you can picture Madaka-san pulling it off. Yep. She would need a lot of support from the other pieces on her side to bring that about. You know, she couldn't go one-on-one -on -one with the enemy king. She might prefer it that way, but that wouldn't be the best course of action. I wouldn't be so sure. Are we doing well enough for Madaka-san to consider us her rooks and generals? What's this? What's happened to your brimming confidence, Akane-senpai? It's not that I've lost my confidence, but that is where we'll need to be if we want to be able to reign in Madaka-san. 
I thought I would remind us all. I want to make sure we're all keeping focused. You're right. You can't play Shogi without the King. <coughs> we have to work together so that we don't lose Kurokami-san. Do you all promise that you'll work hard? <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> you have to admit, it's actually kind of funny. I've only realized it since she's been gone, but did you guys see that if it weren't for Madaka-chan, the three of us would never have even met, much less worked on any project together. That's true. If I had never met Madaka-san, who knows where I would be right now in my life. We definitely wouldn't be cleaning the shogi room, I know that, boys. You know, it's times like these that I... I can't begin to imagine what I'd be doing instead of being here with you. Madaka-san is a strange person. She defies logic, but before I knew it, being with her felt completely natural. But I think we'd all huh? agree that... Huh? To actually stay with Madaka-chan for any extended period of time isn't <laughs> easy. You're right. I couldn't agree with you more. After a decent sweat, we cleaned up the club room. But we failed to locate the missing king, and we looked everywhere for it. Welcome back, Sase-san. By the way, don't think we didn't realize that you only showed up after the job was done. Mushibara senpai do you know any other places we should be looking around in? Huh? It doesn't sound as though you really believe this piece is here. You just hope that it is. It's as though you're hoping against the worst case. That you're actually taking this worst case scenario to some logical extension. In any case, we've searched the entire room and found nothing. Huh? We'll have to try elsewhere. In the meantime, we could use a similar looking piece in its place. There might be something here in this box. You can't do that, Akune-san! Shogi pieces come in different shades and materials. It'll be obvious it's going to be all gone and you just don't- Gone. Huh? Huh? Rather, the king is missing from this Shogi set as well. Including even the magnetic set. The king is missing from every shogi set in this entire room. That was my mistake, and I should have realized it while we were cleaning the place. But I'm afraid this is no longer the simple case of a lost item, you guys. We should consider this a planned burglary. Sasasan, huh? as Hideyoshi kun was saying, if you have any leads, please fill us in. We need all the help we can get. You may not wish to accept this possibility, but that won't help you find the missing pieces. Uh -huh. Hey, Sasasan, I may be out of line with this questioning, but do you suspect Nadiyama-san? Is it possible? Think! Um, well, no, not, no, not really. Now hold on a minute. This new suspect of yours, who is this exactly? Nadiyama Miri, from Class 210. She's one of the special students who've moved here oh. to the school like us. Well, she's one of the team's special... team special geniuses. No offense intended to Sase-san, but I wasn't surprised earlier when the Shogi Club had a new president. I was surprised because I'd been certain that the next president would be Nadayama-san. Yeah, she could be. She is the strongest player in the entire club by far. <laughs> But she was definitely not club president material. Well, hello there, student council members. Mine is Kurokami-chan, that is. Well, hello there, Nadayama-san. My colleagues and I would like to ask you something. All of the King pieces are missing from the Shogi Club room. Would you by any chance know anything? I'm sorry, Blondie. I absolutely, positively, most certainly have absolutely no earthly idea at all. As a matter of fact, I'm not even in the Shogi Club anymore. But that is quite tragic. It pains me to hear it. But I don't see any problem. After all, Mochibaro-san and the other members appear to prefer Shogi without any Kings. And really, who can blame them? Without any kings. 
Natayama-san is as good as a pro player. Actually, she technically is a pro. Some people call her a king. So having her teach a shogi was an honor, but she's too harsh on others. She yells at beginners because she expects them to be as good as she is. Natayama stands at the top, but she shouldn't stand over other people. That's what the previous president said. And he was one of the best leaders we've ever had. A king who lost her throne for being too tyrannical. Huh. You quit the club because you weren't chosen as the next president. Then, as your revenge, you stole the club's treasured pieces on your way out. That is quite petty, Nadiyama-san. Hardly deserving of the title of high school pro. Persistent, aren't you? I told you I don't know anything. However, I would understand if someone wanted to cause trouble for them. You can't blame someone for being weak. But you can blame them for not trying to get stronger. And I do. Natayama-san, could you not be so hard on the younger members? We aren't a sports team, and we aren't you. Unlike you, we don't plan to play shogi for the rest of our lives. We're just playing it for fun. It's not some life-or-death situation for us, don't you see? Or maybe you just don't appreciate that kind of a mindset. But I want you to understand that there are some people who feel that way. I hope you can teach us not only to be good at shogi, but... but uh, also how to have fun. Uh... I hope you understand. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bunch of crap. Idiot. She managed to piss me off and to waste my time all in one fell swoop. You really didn't have to leave the club, you know. Just because you weren't chosen as president? Quitting the Shogi Club won't reflect well on you as a special student. <laughs> After quitting the school judo team, you're in no position to talk, Mr. Sidelines. Well, I am probably in trouble given that I'm not multi-talented like you. However... I am like you in that I don't intend to play subordinate to my inferiors. And besides, it took them way too long to notice that the kings were missing from the game board. That means it's been forever since they even played the damn thing. What does that tell you about their level of commitment? I'm guessing they only noticed that the Boxwood King was missing. You were probably the one who realized they were all missing, weren't you? So looks like they don't really need the pieces, since the members themselves don't care if they're missing. Come on, you guys. This is only wasting valuable time. That was more or less a confession. We can let the teachers take it from here. <laughs> as long as the pieces remain intact, I shall put in a good word for you so that this won't become a serious matter. You can thank me later. Oh, I can tell you thanks now, pretty boy. But you needn't waste your time. I don't expect to get off scot-free after doing that. Well, not that I know anything about it. Nothing at all. Akane-senpai, could you wait a moment? This would certainly be one solution. Now that the culprit has been found, it shouldn't take too long to find the missing goods. However, if soliciting the teachers always resolved things, we wouldn't need the suggestion box. We wouldn't even need a student council. Yes, that's true. Right you are. I tip my hat to your outstanding powers of reason. And since that is the case, what would our correct course be? I can't say what that would be. But what I can say for sure is this. Because it's what Madaka-chan would do. Therefore, I'm going to challenge you to a match, Natayama-senpai. If you win the battle, my friends and I will let you go. No harm, no foul, and this will all be over and done with. But if I win, you return all the kings without incident. What do you say to that? Wait a minute, are you seriously challenging someone like me to a game of shogi? Are you insane? You even need to ask? Or are you actually afraid you'll lose, high school pro? That's borderline insulting to a player like me. An amateur like you challenging me. Or maybe you happen to be a shogi master and I underestimated you? <laughs> uh, very well. I'll take your offer to play and I'll waste you! What are you waiting for? Line up the pieces, Hideyoshi-kun! <laughs> Wait, what the hell is this? What? Shouldn't it be obvious? 
You told me to line up the pieces. Don't tell me that you don't know what Mari Shogi is. Mari Shogi? It, I, uh, you must be joking! This is no joke! It's your own fault that we can only play a Shogi variation! We can only do so much without kings! This is what you've done to the game, don't you see? You say that you don't care if the kings are missing. But after they start worrying, it's too late to say that. Well, it makes sense for you to play a childish game, given that you're resorting to childish pranks. Uh, ah! Nadayama-san, I probably don't need to be telling someone like you this, but how could you not do your research to find there's no king in Shogi? It just so happens that Jade ranks higher than gold or silver in the game. The term king comes from the misprint of Jade. If you consider it, it's certainly peculiar that a king and general would be used together. And now king is more widely accepted term than Jade general. Imagine the shame that Jade general must feel. It would probably even want to quit the game. But I have never heard that fact used to excuse the Jade general for running away. The Jade General continues to fight. The entire game is almost a metaphor for how people react in life circumstances, how they handle life when they're winning and losing. The Jade General continues the fight. You yourself said that you would blame someone who wouldn't try to get stronger. In that case, Nadiyama-san, you should blame yourself for turning tail and giving up. At least I find it hard to believe that you failed to sense the strength in Sasa-san who trusted you until she no longer had a choice. I find it sad you not only fail to see the truth about others, but cannot see your own truth either. Excuse me, but may I, uh... Huh? Huh? In Japanese, the phrase high horse derives from the characters used for the rope and, uh... Oh, good grief, shut up! You don't have to force yourself to say something cool, okay? <laughs> I can't believe this. Or you. You losers are lecturing me on Shogi? How sadly ironic. Now I wonder if all those stories I used to hear were actually true. The current student council cares about both friend and foe. They don't prefer one over the other. Even without Kurokame Midaka, the student council still delivers. She must be so proud of you all. Afterwards, the missing shogi pieces were found in a locker in the classroom. Or, so we heard. We searched every locker, but we must have missed them. And Natayama Senpai returned to the shogi club. So we succeeded in finding Mochibaro Senpai's missing item. Or should I say, missing person. <laughs> if you experience academic struggles, romantic woes, family problems, stressful workloads, or personal concerns, please feel free to use the suggestion box. We shall be offering assistance 24 hours a day, 365 days a year.